Alright, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh, the one who fosters a great milk that will well. Show love to all you those in the house and byways, doing the work sincerely and faithfully, and continue fighting that good fight of faith, Lord willing. We found that number to be delivered. But until then, we're going to keep on coming out, pushing this word. We're going to roll the spirit. You know, whatever brothers have, articles, scriptures, prophecies, you know, uh, uh, testimony, whatever it is, we're going to bring it out. Lord willing, what we do bring out is edifying, all right? I, 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 so, I, I, I tell you something. Go ahead, go ahead. I also got something to say. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen a video on YouTube from the Israelis uh, news uh, network where there was a lady, you know, um, she, she said that, you know, the problem started in the black community. What, they, what problem? You know, she did not she did not mention it, right. but 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 when they were when they were someone was recording, you know, in, in inside the network, she sat there. It was an Israeli woman. Oh, I heard this. Yeah, she said the biggest problem for Israel for is Israel. the black community. Yes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so it, 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 it goes to show you, man, that Esau is already on the move because now they're gonna paint us as the enemies. Well, well, they have painted us. Well, as yeah, 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 yeah. It's inevitable because, yeah. the, so so, essentially you got two parties fighting over a land. Let's, let's go to Isaiah, I mean, I'm not Isaiah. Uh, uh, Zachariah? Nope. Joel? Uh, nope. Uh, Ezekiel 36. Uh, Ezekiel, yeah. Ezekiel 36. Let me start the first verse. Because uh, uh, essentially they're, they're, five. they're, they're five. Was five. Yeah, well, no, the whole, the whole chapter. Because essentially they're fighting over a land that doesn't belong to either party, right? And, and Ezekiel 36 uh, uh, kind of chronicles, it says what, what the, how, the, how, the, how the Lord is going to uh, take them out of there, man, you know? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 36 and uh, 1. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Yep. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are our in possession. Right. So, they, so they've possessed our land, right? And they've and they've uh, set up themselves in our land at, uh, as as the the rightful owners of the land, right? But so so regardless of what they try to spin, we are the the biggest threat to Israel because that land belongs to us. It's just like it's just like uh, uh, there's like a home in probate, right? Somebody dies, right? And so they they got this house and it's it's in probate. And they try to, they, what they do, they, they lawfully, they have to put it in the newspaper to say that this house is available. They got to find out if there's any siblings or anybody that might want the house. We're, we're, the, we're the sibling mm -hmm. that they try to hurry up and, 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 and get these papers out and get these articles out so they can sell the house and get the money for it, right? But that's that's our house. That house rightfully belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I had um, my, my great-grandmother, my father's grandmother, had owned some land um, down in uh, uh, what's this? What's this town in Alabama? Um, Montgomery? Nah, nah, nah. No, it's, it's a small town. I, I always forget Hang the name. Hang high? Gilbert Town, Gilbert Town, Alabama. And they sold. They sold that land. They didn't consult with my father. They didn't consult with me. Nothing. They just wow. gave it away. It was a, a ma massive amounts of land in just one little shack on the land that they used to live in. You know. And so, and so the point. The point being is that's that's our land. So of course, the, if, if they're trying to uh, take over and try, try to um, have that high place in their possession. They they're gonna say that we're the biggest threat. I, it, that's that's a fact because it's rightfully our land and it was it's beyond any paperwork. It's beyond any probate. It's it's God given. So who, who's higher than the heavenly Father? I, I got I, I got go ahead, go ahead. real quick. Yep, yep. And that's for the APNews.com. It says after a decade of struggle in Israel. Dozen of African Hebrew Israelites faced deportation. Yeah, so and so yeah, so they right had now. this. This happened some years ago, where they were uh, these 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 Israelites that had left the United States and went over there to uh, Israel to try to set up as citizens in that land, and they had been getting deported in droves. And the reason being is because they didn't follow what the scriptures say. That's right. The scriptures say to wait ye upon me. Right. Right. When when the heavenly Father takes us and puts us in that land, no one's going to be able to take us out of that land. That's right. right? And so now they've been facing all kinds of deportation, and now, especially now, because that's really what the fight is over. The fight is over. Who's going to take take a, a power over that land? Any any ruler, from Nebuchadnezzar all the way up to Augustus Caesar, their their interest was in 
who who controlled that land? Yep. And then one more, yep. one yeah, more yeah, little part. It. And he says, in um, um, Yimura, Israel AP, for two years, Tova Israel and dozens of other residents of the village of peace have lived in fear. So while they're down there, they, they live in fear, you know, because those those East so-called Jewish people are oppressing them down there. Yep. But they're not showing that in, 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 in the media. Yep. You know, just like how they're oppressing us here, they, they're getting down there too. Ten times worse. Yep, yep. And that and that land, that land is rightfully ours. Now we we would have to wait for the Lord because there's some sorting out that has to be done, right? Because okay. well, when we cross over to Jordan, we each each tribe got their land as the Lord saw fit, right? This is this is this tribe's land, this is that tribe's land, so forth and so on. And so because we've lost that, right? We we don't know whose land is whose. Now we got to wait for the Heavenly Father to set that back up again, to establish that again. Right. You know, you wouldn't want it. I mean, why would you want to go over there in this time period? You know, you got the matter of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. get that article, read a little bit of that article. Sure, sure, no problem. You know, why would you want to go over there anyway, man? Like the elders said, the scriptures say, you know, we ain't supposed to be over there until the Lord brings us over there. Read a little bit of that article. It says, Imona, a city on the edge of the nation of Israel, Negev Desert, has been her home for 24 years. Her eight children were born here in no, no other country. Now she, in 130 other undocumented member of the African Hebrew Israel Jerusalem, you see how that is. You see how that deportation. is. You see how that is. You saw is always talking about he owns some shit. Just like when you got when you got Issachar over here. You know they talking about all the undocumented. Now you got Negroes over there. Now they're undocumented. This is this this goes to show you this is not your land, man. This is not your kingdom. You are you are a fucking stranger in this world, man. And, and, and the Lord's going to set this shit right when he feels ready when he feels ready to do so. But until then, you got to be subjected to fucking getting bashed, bruised, and, be, and being a, uh, an, an outcast in this piece. Go ahead, read a little bit more. And he says here, the Bible, he says, the Hebrew Israel, as a special community member or commonly known, first made their way to Israel from the United States in the 1960s. You see? So, so they've been there since the 1960s. Right. And they know what the scriptures say. Yeah. You know? And, and, and this is what you get. Now you're going to be uprooted, sent back to the states here, where you've been over there for, you know, however long you've been dwelling over there, only to come back here to do what? You're going to be a, you're going to be a homeless man, because shit is out of control. You ain't going to be able to just go and pick up and go get a job and go get a house and all that. You're going to be homeless, man. You're going to put you, they're going to drop your ass right on the street like they do to all these other jakes, man. So we'll give me do uh, do it on the twenty eight and sixty eight real quick. And then of course this is what the so called Jewish right. man said. He said we see in the order to leave two years ago was a moment of disbelief. That's in the man. You see, so they're gonna they're gonna show you they're gonna show you that you don't belong over there, man. And it's all through the hand of the Al Bashmi Al Shai. Anyway, go ahead, read that. Uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight verse sixty eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships go ahead. by the way where I have spoken to thee. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. That's the point. Thou shalt see it no more again. You wasn't supposed to pack up and fly over there and have all kinds of children and, and insert yourself in that community over there talking about this is our land. We're the real Jews. They don't give a shit about that, man. Talking all that nonsense. She said that she'd be, she'd be living in, in Israel for 24 years yeah. with eight children. Yeah. Now they want her to leave. Oh, they're going to force her to leave. After she yeah. be, they're they're going to round them niggas up. And, and, and I won't be surprised yeah. if they take your kids and put them on one plane to Texas and take you to ship you up to to, to Michigan somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Esau does it. He ain't going to collectively get you together like, all right, here's some money for some tickets. They're going to disperse again. They're going to disperse you throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right, this is nothing new. Israel being dispersed is nothing new. And that's exactly what's probably gonna happen to you people, man. Yeah, you don't belong over there. They did, they did put an order out to mm -hmm. say that anybody that's not of uh, Israeli's descent, they yeah. have to get up out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Whether they're on you the Bible side that? or yeah. they, they're on the Israeli side, they mm -hmm. said they want all manuscript people out of there. Can you imagine that? And this is supposed to, and they, and they want everybody else to fucking love them. They want everybody else to show love and compassion to them. But as a matter of fact, I was watching the news one morning and I was getting ready for work. You had these devils in a fucking Humvee and he had two little babies on his lap. And there was all kinds of blood and shit. I mean, you would have thought the baby's head was cracked wide open. The baby's just sitting there riding. You can see that shit was some smoke and mirrors, man. But they, they push it, man. They push that shit so much where there's no doubt in anybody's mind that they're really going through it over there. Go ahead, whatever you got. Go ahead, you got it. Ezekiel? 
Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 36 and uh, verse 3. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because they have made you desolate yep. and swallowed you up on every side, that ye may you, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, right. and ye are taken up in the in the lips right. of talkers right. and are the infamy of the people. Keep on, keep on. Yep. Verse 4, therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. Thus said the Lord Yahweh to the mountains, yes. and to the hills, yes. Yes. and to the rivers, yes. and to the valleys, and to the desolate wastes, and to the cities that are forsaken, yes. which became a prey and derision yes. to the residue of the right. heathen that around the So our land became a prey and derision to the heathen, right? And that's what's in our land. Ishmael's it over there. Uh, Edom is over there. Yep. And those those Edomite strongholds, right, have been happening for, for quite some time. I was getting into... A while back, I just took a note. I want to, I want to get back into it a little bit. Um, so, if you, if you, if you look into the Hasmonean dynasty, uh, any map of where our strongholds were, and during that time, Edom, Edom had started to move in from from the south where they were in Seir, and started to move up into the land of Israel. So, them taking strongholds in that land is, is not is not a new thing. Edom has always been trying to take on that land uh, under under the guise of, hey, Abraham is our grandfather too. Abraham is our grandfather too. And you really, there's no argument there, right? But again, that's why it's, it's about the promise. Because anybody that's really a descendant of of, uh, of Abraham could stay claim to that land if, if it weren't for the promise, right? So Ishmael is over there. They're fighting over the land. You got, you got Edom over there. They're fighting over the land. Both grandchildren of, of Abraham, right? Yep. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Uh, Gen Genesis 35, I'm going to start at verse 9. And in the, it's just, I'm going to read the verb in. And God yep. appeared unto Jacob again mm -hmm. when he came out of Hadan Aram mm -hmm. and blessed him. And mm -hmm. God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel yep. shall be thy name. Yep. And he called his name Israel. Yep. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be, faith, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. Right, a nation and a company of nations, right? So that means what? That each tribe is like a nation, right? Keep going. And kings shall come out of thy lawn. Yep. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac yep. to thee, I will give it. That's right. So and that land that land belongs to the children of Israel, right? But the children of Israel are in that land. Now, we, we got into it with that uh, the, the Jewish guy la last week, right? And you know he he, he wanted to uh, marginalize that book that we spoke about um, by Arthur Kosler, but Arthur Arthur Kosler really got into the details and how how the confusion happened between the Israelites that that belong in that land, us, and the the Israel the Israelis that kind of swept in and took on that land yeah, once wanted, they got. He wanted to know whether the um, what was. Practicing was the right thing. One hundred percent. That's what. That's why he wrote the book. One hundred percent. And so he, he so he got research. into all of those details, got into the history of the Rhineland, and all of that area over there that uh, in Poland and all of those different places where our people were getting dispersed, and and he found out that they they moved into that land once our people finally were were, were clean gone. Because when you and it's, it's I, I read it a lot, but um, it's important history. When you go to uh, First Maccabees. Uh, the first chapter, it starts to it starts to talk about how the Greeks swarmed in there, right? And when you so you gotta you gotta you gotta juxtapose it against each other. The, the history that you're reading in Maccabees, and then the so-called secular history, and you have to you have to kind of put the story together because the Greeks that were calling themselves Greeks were Edomites, and then the people the the the, the Edomites that were already in the land they were calling themselves there were still Edomites calling themselves Edomites. So they, they even had some fighting over over that land, right? But they were both Edomite nations. You got the Greeks that were Edom, Edomite nation, or let me say it this way, the Greeks were Japheth, but Edom started to infiltrate their, their records too and their history too. So when Alexander came, well really when his father came, the Macedonians were the first Edomite nation to take over Greece and make it, this is, this is ours now, right? And so when you when you get into the Hasmonean dynasty, when you get into all of that history, you start to uh, see that our people started leaving. They was like, I'm I'm out of here. So it was, it was it was it wasn't far fetched for it to happen because when you go, this is why history is important, man. When you go into um, Esther, it, it tells you that we had been spread throughout the whole known world at the time. So it's likely 
if we're in our land and it's, it's going to shit because the Edomites are rolling in, oh, I, we got a cousin over in, in, in India. Yeah, I'm going over there. there, let's go over there. My, yeah. I, you know, you know, I wrote a letter to my cousin, he got back to me. He said that he'll put us up. Or I got a, I got a, 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 a cousin in Spain. That, you know, because because those the the so-called Moors of Spain, those were Israelites. When you have the, the they call it the Iberian Peninsula, mm -hmm. that's the, our people were there, right? So it wasn't a, it wasn't far fetched for our people to go and spread out and, and be dispersed because our people were already in these different provinces and in these different lands throughout history. Can I say this too? Yeah, yeah. And the first incident of that was uh, uh, Jacob against Esau. How he went to labor. Remember, his mom said, "Hey, right." Got the people over here. Right. Go chill over there. Right. I know your brother's out. Right. Here, so right. You know and that's and that's and that's that's not it's not far fetched, man. Just like just like back in uh back in the days when you was uh when you was uh you ever seen the movie Crooklyn? Anybody yeah, ever yeah, seen that movie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh the, the young lady uh, her her character which is which is based on Spike Lee's sister. The movie is based on Spike Lee's sister. Um, they had family down south. So when their, when their mother got sick, she had to move down south with their family. So this. That's what happened. So when we were leaving our land, we was going, we was going into these other lands, and they were trying to again make strongholds in Israel for Greece, right? When you go into that Maccabean history, right? And so, so now when you when you come to, to modern day times, those are Edomites over there fighting over our land, but it's not their land; it belongs to us. You know, and, and also, too, for me, I will mm -hmm. even even um, documentary and, and, um, and ancient wound shows. You know the, the faces of our people. Yeah. Throughout almost every nation. Yeah. You know it's coming out that a lot of those, uh, a lot of our people, was all over the the, the known world yeah. with with the with the, with the paint, yeah. the, the art. Yeah. You know all that's coming out. Yeah. Now Esau cannot hide anymore. Yeah. You know? just real quick, quick the biggest dispersion of our people was when the Muslims came along. Because yeah. when the Muslims came along, it was only the Catholic Church around. That's right. And um, the the Israelites who were in um, Medina, the, yep, the city yep. that you call Medina, yep. it used to be called Yeten okay. before. Okay. And they, um, they, they were the first to, um, to be converted to the Muslim. Yep. And they're the ones that went to Spain. Yep. 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 Yes, sir. Again, yep. real quick precept. Revelation 7 and 9. And after this I beheld in lo a great multitude which, which no man could number of all nations yeah. and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the land right. clothed with white robes right. and palms. So, so when we when we get into this stuff, right, is it, this is why it's it's such a uh, it's we, we are let's say this let's say it this way. This is why we are so convicted in our spirits that when we read the scriptures it belongs to us because the history says so. And then when you get into a prophecy like that, the prophecy says, look, the children of Israel are going to come from every nation. We've been dispersed everywhere. Now, our, the main stronghold where the main deliverance is going to happen is here in the Americas. But our, let's go to uh, somebody get Isaiah 11 and 11. Isaiah 11 and 11. Isaiah 11 verse 11. Yep. And it says, uh, and he reads, uh, it shall come to pass. Uh, Therefore, thus said the Lord, behold, I will bring. Uh, Isaiah 11, right? Yeah, 11 and 11. Isaiah 11 and 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again yep. the second time to yep. recover the remnant of his people, right, to which shall them, be left. Right, to recover them. Right? Yep, somebody get Jeremiah 16 and 14. Gotcha. Um, yep, to recover them, right? So we're, 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 recover us from where? From the lands we were dispersed in. And to bring us where? The land we came from. Right? You got something? I had Ezekiel 11. I don't know if it came out. Go ahead. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel 11, 17. It says, yep. Therefore, um, say thus saith the Lord, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries yeah. where ye have been scattered. Right. Assemble us where? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> assemble us where? Go ahead. It tells you, it says, and I will give you the land of Israel. And they will give us the land of Israel. Mm. So when that lady says the so-called black community is the biggest threat, she's not mistaken. Yeah. And that and, and that lady knows something. Yeah. That lady knows something. Right. She's been privy to the true information. Yeah. 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 You, you know, when you, when you, when you think of, uh, remember there was this movie that uh, my man Forrest Gump, who's my man? The actor. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yeah. He did this movie called uh, 
uh, the Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci yeah, code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he went into all of this this different yeah, stuff right, about right, this yeah. secret yeah, bloodline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The secret bloodline is us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because the, the the it's not common knowledge that the children of Israel, the people on that put that oh no, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. I forgot we gotta have it the other way. Um the secret bloodline is us because it's not common knowledge that the so called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, so forth and so on, are the children of Israel. That's not common knowledge. So those secrets that they were looking for, that secret bloodline that was being hidden, is really is really the children of Israel, man, and all of the places that they were being dispersed. Right, and every time they dig something up, it always comes back to us. Yeah, It yeah. always comes back to us. Yeah. And then, therefore, they keep it a secret because they don't want nobody to know yeah. this information because their history books have to be rewritten, man. Yep, yeah. yep. If it, if it all comes out in this day and age, this whole place will be turned upside down. Yeah. yeah. Because the, the shit that you've learned throughout your lifetime has all been lied. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 uh, what does the scripture say? Uh, their children shall complain of an ungodly father. Right? Because what happened? All of these lies have been taught, right? And, and really, the Heavenly Father made it so, right? Because what happened in history made it so that the lie could stick. Because why? We were scattered everywhere. You got, you got people that are... Are uh, that live in East India, say right? Um, I say East India because they they say that the Indians that were here in the Americas, but I say East India, right? You have people that are there that have been practicing that 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 culture, practicing that language, practicing mm-hmm. that lifestyle their whole lives, and that's all they've ever known. But they're Israelites, and they might even look like the East Indians because over time you marry and have children and so forth and so on. And then you take on even not only their uh, uh, their culture, but the way they look. Yeah, was, real quick, uh, the prime example, the the, the the Philippine down there who was speaking in the name of, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I don't know if you guys remember him. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, yeah. he actually mentioned the name Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, and he was saying that was the name. Yeah. You know, so how do you think he knows? He, he, he's, he's a dick himself. Yeah, the spirit is on him, man. Yeah. The spirit is on him. And so, and so that lady, I don't know her name. I want to find out her name. I want to, I want to do a little more reading about her. But she knows something, man. She she is absolutely right because yeah. the, yes, the people that that are rightful owners of that land are are starting to figure it out. There is they're starting to figure. All roads point to us being the rightful owners of that land, being the rightful uh, 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 people that that land was given to. And right. also to mention as well, you have us waking up to knowing that. Yep. So with us identifying, hey, that's they're not the real people we are. Right. It's a threat to their whole system. And, and that's why they try to deport as many of them as they can from that land. I yeah, got so yeah. Baruch 2, I'm going to start at verse uh, 28. It's going to be a little read. No, sure. um, uh, it says, As thou spakest by, my, by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the laws before the children of Israel, saying, if you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people right. in the land of their captivity they shall remember right. themselves. In the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves and that's what's happening. Right? This is why it's such a big deal that you have all these camps across the country and across the world because that is, that is the... Uh, uh, personification of what the scripture is saying, mm. right? We're we're waking up, man. The, all these small sanctuaries across the country and across the world, we're waking up to being the children of Israel, and we're and we're we're proclaiming, yeah, yeah. and we're professing yeah, yeah. that that's 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 the truth. That's right. and, and when you when you get into that, so it's like it, brother. And when you get into this history, when you get into what the scriptures say, it's it's no other reason or or no other way you could you could look at it. There's no other way you can look at it. We we have to be the children of Israel. We have to be. There's no there's no other way you can look at it. Why else would we experience the level of disenfranchisement that we have unless we're the chosen seed? Because that's what's always happened to the children of Israel. When they go off and they're not following the ways and rules of the Heavenly Father, what happens? They get they get taken down by another nation, right? When you go into uh uh, not not Judith. Um, I think it's uh, the prayer of Azariah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ninth verse. Yeah, the ninth verse. Yeah, yeah. Jump, jump me to that. Go ahead, bro. It says, it's, uh, "This is verse thirty-one. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, and I will give them the heart and ears to hear. Yep. They shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Yep. Think upon my name." And that's what we're doing. Are we praising the Lord? That's right. Are we thinking on His name? That's right. Right. That's what we're doing. This 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 work. 
I, I have to always say this: if we got, we can't, we can't think light of what it is that's happening here. We can't think light of it because it's 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 a fulfillment of what the Lord said He would do to us. He said He would put thoughts in our mind, right, and, and, and bring us back to Him, right? Go ahead. Verse thirty-three: and return from their stiff necks <coughs> yep. and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the right, Lord. Right. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto right. their fathers. Right. So He said He's going to bring us into the land, and it was and it was promised to us by what? An oath. oath. Right, so no paperwork is needed, and they, and they even tell you that in, in court. If you have a verbal agreement with somebody, that's a, that's a that's a binding contract, right? So he by oath and and he swore on the highest name on on in the universe that he that that land belonged to us, right? Keep so much that in the law he mentioned that if we vow with oath or vow, we yeah. have to stand. That's on. it. So it's the that's same it. principle that he's right. doing. That's it. Right. That's it. Right. Yep. Says, yep. Um, it says, uh, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. And they shall be lords of it. Right. And I will increase and they, them, and they shall and they, not be diminished. And they shall be lords of it, and he shall increase them. Right? And that's that's so, she is she is absolutely right, right man. And if I may mention real quick, even yeah. you see the pattern in the scriptures, that every time there was wickedness done in that land, the Lord always cast those people out. Yep. Starting with the Amorites. Yep. Yep. He did it to the Canaanites. Yep. To yep. Yep. Canaanites yep. You know, so it's just showing you that even now, with the wickedness that's going on over yep. there, they about Lord to get cast shit up. up. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and not just only that, the Lord said uh, that he was going to set us in order in front of in their faces. Yep. So what's going to happen? We're going to go back with a whole new mindset, yep. a better way of thinking, yep. a better yep. way of living well said. Well said. To, to, to deal with well, that. Well said. Well well said. You already 28 and 1. Yeah. And it shall yeah. come to yeah. pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, Unto the voice of thy power, the Lord thy power, yep. to observe and to do all his commandments, yes, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Yep. Now let me say this to that. Yeah, you got it. So if he's going to set us on high above all nations, Jeremiah, Isaiah, they didn't get that opportunity to be set on high above all nations. So that time is happening now. So these people who are over there, they know who we are. They know what we're doing. We're trying to keep the laws to the best of our ability. We're meditating on the word of the Lord. No other group of people are doing these things. So this is, these prophecies are happening right before their very eyes. And this is why they're in fear of who we are and what we've been doing lately. To um, back you, the, our lady's name is Judas Varnea Shora. Judith. And she's an Israeli consul, and the meeting took place in Atlanta. Spell it for me. It's V-A-R-N-A-I. Sure. N A I. Yep. V A R. N A I. N A I. Sure. S H O. R E R. And she's in a rarely council, and the meeting took place in Atlanta amongst so called uh, black community leaders, is when she said this. Mm -hmm. So she was amongst. Mm -hmm. She was telling you. I think I'm going to talk a little bit about she her. She telling you, hey, we are afraid of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she, 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 she's a bad one. She knows, she knows, she knows what you're talking about. Uh -huh. I got a prayer of Azariah 1. Yep. I'll start at verse 5. Yep. And all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, yep. thou hast executed true judgment. Yep. For according to truth and judgment did thou bring us all these things upon us because of our sins. Yeah. For we have sinned and committed iniquity departing from thee. In all things... Uh, in all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Right. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us. Some, somebody go to uh, uh, Lamentations 4 in, in 21, 22. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, yep. Thou hast done in true judgment, and thou did deliver us into the hand of a lawless enemy. Right, she, they, right. we were delivered into the hands of, of a lawless, lawless enemy, enemies, man. Uh, right? Yeah. And so that, so not only were we delivered into the lawless enemy's hands, but our land was delivered into the lawless enemy's hands, right? And now they're over there, they're, getting, they, they're in, the midst, in the midst of war. And that, that war, that war going to turn up, man. Uh -huh. they, they, uh, the United States... Just sent, I believe, 900 troops over there uh, to help out, and it's only going to get worse. You're going, you're going to run, you're going to run right through them 900. You called up the reserves too. Um, four by one group, three groups. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you're going gonna to run through all of that. You're going to run through all the reserves, and you're going to be sending them with another 900. Mm-hmm. They're going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, um, that, nine, that 900 that you just sent, mm-hmm. you know, we're going to need another 900. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ran through that 900. And that yeah. draft is coming, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we've talked about that for a long time, and you mm-hmm. never, there was never a... Uh, a situation where it seemed like it was it was possible, but right. now it right. seems like all right, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna they have don't. to. They're gonna have to. But what also, like what I was making mention earlier, now the war is hot over there because they dropping bombs and the whole shit. But also, they still push that propaganda machine in America yeah. to get these people geared up and charged up to get that draft going. Yeah. They show all these images, and you know, yeah. just like 9-11. Sure. The whole shit that went down 9-11, you saw them going crazy. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to rip this shirt yeah, off. Yeah, they yeah. fucking ripping this shirt, screaming and shit. No, but yeah, man. They said a million people. Um, they have signed up that day, just like they said. Um, Pearl Harbor. Prior uh-huh. to the Pearl Harbor incident, they couldn't get anyone to enlist, and they said after Pearl Harbor, yeah. which was inside as well, it said it went up into the millions to where right. people were. This is why up. they keep they keep equating what's going on over there to something that's going to happen here in America. There's something going to pop off that's going to be somewhat related over there to get the people charged up here, you know? Because you saw, we're American, we're here, yeah, and they're fucking <laughs> gun old, man. And in fact, I'm at you, it was this lady um, um, in, in Ukraine, she was crying in tears because the ladies have not passed the border, they try to get women now in the front line because they're losing a lot of men. Well, you know, well, they want to be want to have equal <laughs> rights, well, yeah. equal yeah. rights, equal fights. Go over there, <laughs> over there and fight. Stand on the front lines and get you a get you a, a rifle and get, get busy. Yeah, yeah. This is from endtimeheadlines.org, right? This is Prophecy Watch. It says, uh, uh, Durgan or Edigan. It says, threaten to declare war on Israel and send military to Gaza in chilling water. And that's mm-hmm. supposed to be a member of NATO. Mm-hmm. Turkey is a member of NATO. Mm-hmm. It says, Turkey's president appeared to have threatened to intervene in Gaza in, in, it says, in an impassioned speech at a pro-Palestine Palestine rally this evening. It says, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, it says, delivered a speech to rally this at a rally this afternoon in which he told attendees Israel was responsible for war crimes and framed Hamas as freedom fighters. In the comment that had prompted Israeli outcry and led the country to withdraw its diplomatic presence, President uh, Erdogan suggested assault on Gaza constitute a massacre. In the same speech, he reportedly said that Turkey can come, come at any night unexpectedly. Let me read that again. It says he reported he, he reportedly said that Turkey can come at any night unexpectedly, unexpectedly mm. to a uh, ecstatic reception from hundreds of thousands of attendees. Yeah, man. So look, look, this, this is uh, I, I want to say the uh, this is the uh, uh, as the scriptures say, the beginning of sorrow. Man. Th- these wars are going to turn up, man. They, yep, yep. These wars are going these wars are going to turn up, and you're going to start seeing more and more countries get involved because they got they got interest, man. They got interest. And it, it tells you in uh, Ezekiel uh, 30, 38 how, how, how Russia was going to be pulling the, the, yep, the guard, but be pulling in uh, people from here to here and from all these different places. You see? So it's, all, it's all happening, man. I, I did a show a couple of days a couple of weeks ago concerning the, 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 uh, the bonus. If you sign on to their alliance, they're going to give you nuclear missiles, man. I mean, that's huge right there. Mm. These small countries that don't have that missile. I think they also said Iraq just joined the BRICS as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's just pop this, man. We out of here. We got something real quick. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Mm-hmm. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Mm-hmm. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Yeah. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Right. Let the weak say I'm strong. Right. So like the elder said, all of those small nations, man, yeah. they're they going to... Now they now they getting the same power yep. that the that America has. Right. Because because for a long time, America we used to say was the big bad wolf. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. And they had that they had that uh that nuclear missile mm-hmm. and all of these other nations kind of like, ah, man, I don't know like what they doing, but you know, they got that missile over there, right. man. I ain't trying to right. fuck with dude, man, because you got that you got that ICBM. But now, you know, um, the, all these other countries are starting to get those same weapons. Man. Mm-hmm. You, can, you, can, you, can be, you can be a punk ass in the midst of a hundred people with a gun. As long as you got that gun, yep. they ain't gonna fuck with you. Yep. Yep. They'll let you walk around with no gun. They're gonna bust your shit. And that's how America was throughout all these countries throughout the world. 
they didn't have no, no power, none of them going to go around busting shit. So right. now they're going to make that playing field easy. Right. Right. I'm going to mention real quick, this is, uh, I typed in the biggest army in NATO, right? And the U.S. is number one, right? It says the size of a single biggest army within NATO in terms of personnel or force of research. Turkey. It says, which belongs to the U.S. Perhaps more surprisingly, the NATO member with the second largest military is Turkey with 44, uh, 447,000 personnel. So you got a big part of your army or your help going to help the opposing team. So, right, yeah. 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 They're part of the economic nation. The scripture, the scripture says, they that be uh, confederate with them. That's it. So the scripture says, let me bring this up because this brother says oh, no. something about everybody. Uh, you want to read it again? Yeah, read it one more time. Because then what's happened to here in Babylon the Great, as you can see, is a lot of uh, Gen Z's and all these effeminate men running around here. Yeah. Uh, back in Joel, Joel, right? Yeah. Joel, the third chapter, verse 9, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak stand strong. Yeah, and that's what those other countries are doing. Now, here in Babylon, Jeremiah 51 says this. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. They might have fell. They become as women. They have burned her dwelling places, her bars are broken. So that's what's coming forth here from Babylon the Great. You, you, know? gotta, you gotta understand too, when America gets destroyed, you're still gonna have American troops on the other side of the that's earth. That's right, man. Yeah. Yeah. They're still gonna be on the other side of the earth. And that's what it's talking about. They're gonna fall going to fight. They're like, oh shit, our, our land is destroyed. Yeah. You know, now they're gonna be like women. They're gonna be all fucked up. Can you imagine that? And we're gonna be over there talking about, well, USA, USA, and you know, you're gonna catch word that USA has been destroyed. Now you're gonna be like walking around aimlessly. Right? Yeah. And if it's I'm, the cause if, of fighting, right? Right, <laughs> you know? And if I'm an absolute builder, that, that's why I bet you warm before it fell. I mean, when one fell, right, all the military bits was left in air. Was, yeah. That was left while all the other land was occupying. They all got overwhelmed by those by, by those countries that they were occupying. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it, it's, it's basically the same thing. America is yeah. being be the same thing. Yeah. 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 Ottoman, if I could add, you know, this, the smoke goes back to to show you because the Ottoman Empire started in what is modern day Turkey today, mm -hmm. and that went into Russia and stuff like that. So after World War One. When they were taken down, it's like whoever was put in there, yeah, they're buddy buddy because of certain stuff. But if it comes back to getting, as we would say, getting your look back, oh, yeah. they're gonna go back with who they were, who, who, who they was with. Obadiah one and verse seven. This is all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Right, and that's going to happen to America. All these, all these countries that America so-called thinks they're in alliance with, all these countries that they helped, they've done all these things for through the years, they're going to turn on you like a rabid dog, man, as thus says the scripture. They're going to turn on you, all right? And then there's going to be no help for Babylon. You have healed Babylon, but you can't be healed. There's no, there's no, there's no bouncing back to your prominence. You know, you had, the Lord gave you his time to shine. Now it's over. Now it's your time to go down, man. It's the bottom line. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Jeremiah 51, verse uh, 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, uh -huh. but this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Yep. He will render unto her a recompense. What we're seeing right now is, is, is the hand of the Lord, man, with the prophecies being fulfilled. We're, we're actually witnessing things that were written over 2,000 years ago unfold right before our very eyes. And we as servants of the Lord, we've been telling you about these things when there wasn't a goddamn thing going on, man. From the head apostles on down, man. We've been talking about these things to the point where when we did make mention of it, people thought we were crazy, man. When Russia, when Russia was at an all-time low, and we were talking about Russia's gonna be bouncing back, they're gonna roll them, pull hooks in their jaws and bring them back to that 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 old stout stout heart that they were, people laughed at us, man. But now look. Russia is not right. the nineties. Right. Russia is no more. more. Russia right. has fallen. Right. Mm -hmm. USSR all is depleted. No, this, this is it, man. This is this is what's going down. Go ahead. Verse seven. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And there has not America been that shining, that that place of uh, wealth and, and, and promise? Absolutely. People would come to America because they knew they were going to get a good job, and get a house, and just live the American way. So the Lord set this place up. The Lord built this place up the way it is, man. 
Go ahead. That made all the earth drunken. Yep. The nations have drunken of your wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, so they're, they're not just mad, but they're furious right now. Because all the things, all the poison that you disseminated throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All these, all these, the way of life that these other countries used to live have been tainted by the American way. All right? And people are fed up, man. Every time you watch a video, somebody's talking about America over in the, these foreign lands, what well, the first thing they're going to do is burn the flag. They burn the flag and say, we don't want your poison. Even Vladimir Putin said that. He's like, you don't understand why why America is pushing this you know this type of mindset on the children of America. You know? They understand what's going on. But here in America it's a fucking free for all. You can let your child do whatever the hell he wants and whatever she wants and it's it's okay. And if you try to discipline your child for doing something like that, you going to jail, man. Oh um um Karn, I was gonna say um because you have mentioned about burning flags. Over there in the Middle East, shit. If they get a body, they burn in the bodies yeah, right next yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dead bodies, dead bodies yeah. all over the place, man. Go ahead. Yep. Verse eight. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. Mm -hmm. If if so be she may be healed, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Mm -hmm. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country. Right. For what what the brothers just talking about that? You know, there's gonna come a point in time where. People gonna start getting the hell out of Dodge, whatever country they may be in, going back to their homeland. All right? And, and hey, it's a no-brainer. You're gonna go, you need to go somewhere where you feel you're gonna be protected. You come here to America, you ain't gonna be protected, man. That's evidently clear. Your, your ass is in danger when you come over here, man. Don't let these, don't let this money fool you. People come to America to chase that money. That's the only thing they come over here for, you know? Because the commercials and the propaganda that they put on TV, they give you that image of come here and live prosperous and do whatever you want, and you can be rich, you can do all this shit, until you finally get over and you find out, wait a minute, I'm the one fucking, you know, busting the cinder blocks over here, you know? But this war is coming up, man. This, this third world's war is about to really get hot. These nations are now aligning themselves with their counterparts to do what? To come up against Babylon the Great. It may not seem like it right now, but they're all going to turn. And then, uh, As it says, all the men of that confederacy have brought the even to the border. So they're getting ready, man. Don't think for one minute that these other nations are gonna, you know, you know, you know, you know when a, sink, a sinking ship goes down, the captain says, I'm, I'm going down with the ship. And you know, you got crew members, the crew members, I'm going, I'm with you, captain. Who's coming Listen, with me, man? When America starts going down, these other, these other nations are gonna jump ship, man. They ain't going down with you. And right. if I may add too, even in London, an image where I had shown a yeah, bunch of burning people flag. burning the American flag. Right. So right. it's not just happening in the Middle East, it's country around the world right. who are now getting fed up with, with, with America. Yeah. And they're burning that flag, man. So America's making enemy of everybody. Yeah. But the thing about yeah. it is, you're not gonna know this unless you go to these alternate uh, news outlets and news sites. Yeah. The American news broadcasters, they're not gonna tell you what's going they on. No, the they're, they're, they're not showing down the CNN. They you wanted to cover up everything that Israel is doing. They cut off all the um, all the connections to the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They turn off everything. Yep. But that's also part of the control as well, too, because you, you mentioned earlier about how they make the men, or they start to push down the feminine on the, on the male children, right. and all that un unlawful act, right? Mm -hmm. But that's to weaken the people, mm -hmm. so they don't fight against the control, the power that's that's right. the controls, oh, that's you know what I'm saying? Right. Same with the uh, information. If you don't be limited to information, right. then you have to go to somebody to get that right. Shit, you know right. what I'm saying? And so, you ever talk to somebody, you're like, nah, nah, this is, this is what's happening. But you're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Where did you get that from? They're looking at you like you like. <laughs> you know, and, and that's when you just got to keep your mind. You know, yeah, I, yeah, you can yeah, right. <laughs> Cause you don't, don't even waste your breath, man. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, don't even waste your breath. And if I may add to, I don't know if you guys saw the video mm -hmm. that I uploaded in the, in the group chat where the lady told that, that CNN newswoman saying that you lie, you lie. You know, she was she was she was faking the funk, you that. know, for about um, um, creating, creating a, a, a fake story. To, to, to get to get the American to, to, to pee, you know, the the, um, the, um, the Israelis, you know, which, which it was all a smoking mirror of propaganda to get everybody to turn against against the the Palestine and the woman come up to her and call her lie right to her face in front of everybody. And when she when, when she got caught in her lies, she was stunned. She couldn't say anything. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so it, it, the, the truth is out there, man. The truth is out and, and that's the reason why they won't they won't get rid of TikTok. Because, and they're still trying to get rid of TikTok because TikTok is showing 
things that they, they will not show in, in CNN News and Fox News. So back here real quick, uh, Micah yeah. 5 verse 12. And I'll cut off witchcraft out of, out of thine head, mm -hmm. and thou shalt have no more sorcery. Mm -hmm. Thy graven image also would I cut off, and thy staining images out of the midst of thee, thou shalt no more worship the work of thine head. Mm -hmm. And I'll brought up thy growth out of the midst of thee, so shall I destroy thy city. And I'll execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, mm -hmm. such as they have not heard. That's right. The Lord's going to perform it, man. Everything that everything that this country has done has been wicked. And that's why the scripture says the sins have reached up into the heavens, man. And this place is it, it's going to be destroyed. And there's no ifs and buts about it. You know, you you you, you worry about all these other nations, please worry about all the other nations. Giving billion, they gave billions of dollars to Ukraine. Now Korea, Ukraine is just a memory. It's, just, it's a, long, a long lost memory. You know? So now the question is. The, the American people should be asking, well, where's their money at? Where's, where's the money that I put that sent me over there? That's what they should be asking themselves. They get to get off you see, themselves. it's a long lost cause. You know, again, witchcraft, smoking mirrors. Yeah. Gets the people all dialed up and fooled up and actually know people believe everything they hear. You got something else on Yeah, there? I just got a quick article posted five days ago from, I think, Axios? Axios? Axios. Axios.com. Axios. 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 It says, um, Americans trust in media plummet to historic low mm -hmm. and shows a poll. Um, it says, I'm just reading a little bit. It says, Americans trust in media has fallen to a historic low according to the new polling of Gallup. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, why, why it matters, trust in media had uh, previously dropped to 32% in 2016 before rebounding slightly. Those gains have essentially been wiped out according to the poll. It's detailed. Only 32% of the population report having a great deal or a fair amount of confidence. That's it. It's in that the media reports uh, reports the news in a full, fair, and accurate way. So it goes these, people, yeah. these people are delusional. They're truly delusional. If you haven't learned by now that the majority of the shit that you see on TV is fucking bullshit, then you got something wrong with it. They read off the teleprompters right. as well. So <coughs> right. everything that they, they're telling right. you is already... Right. It's it's and you gotta, you gotta give it to Donald Trump for the mere fact that even though he's all, they're all set up, but at the end of the day, he was the only one that was pushing fake, fake news. You know, can you imagine that a president going around talking about fake news? That's 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 huge, man. They knew he was. He knew that they was gonna use that to lie on him that's and try it. to get him up out of there. That's it. You know, that's huge to sit there and say that this this country that I'm the head of is pushing propaganda, fake news, if you will. See, go ahead. Uh, I got Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right, this is not our rest. All right? This is not our rest. We're not to be sent over. We were sent over here to get ground down and to be a part of this system and be steadfast in, in, in being uh, uh, being patriotic. Alright? This is not our this is not our kingdom, man. This is not our rest. We just passing through here. And for us and for our servants. For our servants, we've been set up to be prophets to uh, speak about the downfall of this place, man. That's what it is, man. Go ahead. Uh, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. And you're seeing it right now, man. The food, you know, the water, the, 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 the shit that you're, you're learning. Mm -hmm. This is nothing but a cesspool of destruction. It will destroy you, even with a sword destruction. So there's no good that's gonna come out of this place, man. Even more so now in these last days that we're living in. It's just getting worse and worse. And these devils know they're on their last leg, man. Because they're letting a lot of shit, they're letting a lot of shit slide. You know, and what I mean by that is, there's, there's things that are going on in the world that they really don't pay attention to anymore. Or I should say in this country. Letting a lot of shit slide. You got uh, Jeremiah? Yep, Jeremiah 28, verse eight. Yep. Sorry, verse seven. Nevertheless, Hear thou now this word that I speak in the in thine ears mm -hmm. and in the ears of all the people. The prophet that the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. Now who's doing that? You don't see them the so-called those Israelis over there, out in the corners, on the highways and byways with the sign. You don't see them talking that. That's why the lady said the biggest threat we have to worry about are the African Americans. Why? Because we're doing exactly what the scripture said we were going to be doing in these last days. Prophesying about the downfall of this place. And it's no secret, man. People know, when you when you hear, when you think about a Hebrew Israelite, what are you going to think of? 
They talk about the destruction of America. They talk about the Lord is a black man. Those are the main ingredients that people focus in on, all right? And when they say America, we say America's gonna be destroyed, they get taken back. Like, why would they, they, they look at us like, why would you want that? Because the majority of the people who don't want this place to be destroyed are living a decent life. They're comfortable. Living a decent life, man. But for us who are in turmoil and have been out, listen, we've been in turmoil, our parents have been in turmoil, our parents' parents, their parents, going all the way back, man, even to the very present day, we're still in turmoil. And this is why when the Lord say, wait upon me and trust in him, this is exactly what we're doing. We ain't trusting in nobody else on this planet, man. We don't give a goddamn who, who comes down here talking about we'll give you a house, you can get up on the 20th floor up there, that's and that. Just don't come out here. Just don't come out now. Kiss my ass. May that building be destroyed, but you win it. How about that? They're not prophesying over there. They don't right. even believe in the Messiah. Right. Right. In Revelation 19 and 10 said the testimony of Yahweh shot is spirit of prophecy. So that shows it shows you real talk, like real uh real real deal, like yep. who's pushing the spirit of prophecy? Right. Who's, who's, who's right. speaking right. of Yahweh right. You know, because in, in some of these scholars, they, they've examined the things that we've said. And a lot of them probably never even read the things that we've, we've been speaking about and prophesying about. But then they looked into it and they, they said, wait a minute, shit, these guys, this is, this is, this is right on the money. These guys, these guys got something, they got something here. What is this, you know? I got, right. I got a quote from uh, Isaac Newton. That's kinda, my man. Kind of backing up with the brother man, Jeremiah. Yep. Uh, Isaac Newton, yep. in, uh, in, it's, he, his he date said, of birth. His date of birth is uh, 1642 yep. to 1747. Yep. And it says, about the times of the end. This is what, where, where we're living right now, the times yeah. of the end. Now listen closely now. Yep. About See. the times of the end, a body of men will be raised up who will turn their attention to the prophecies and assist upon their literal interpretation yep. in the midst of much clamor and opposition. Isn't that, now who does that fit, man? Who does that fit? And if you look from 2008 on, on to present day, a body of men has been risen up, man. I mean, men have come, men have come out. Some have different doctrines, but the point of it all being, they've all understand they're Israelites. You see, this is what that crux is. Yeah, is there, is, there, is there an association of different doctrines? Absolutely. But the common denominator is what? They know that they're Israelites. And it says, in much clamor. Isn't, isn't it, isn't, uh, it's always comical when we're on the highways and byways. People, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. It says, oh, we are respectable to the world. That's right. That's right. You see? But have we not, have we not done that? Have we not turned our, our, our thoughts and our hearts to the prophecies? That's right. And this is why it's scary for all you people out there. Here you have Isaac Newton. What was, what was the year he was born and died? It said uh, 1642 to 1747. Now, 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 now he was prophesying right here. He was prophesying. He said about the time of the end. Can you? Can you I, I believe he was. But, right. But can you can you imagine that when he made that statement at some point in time between but during his lifetime? They were probably like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And Jake was still slave at that Jake time. Was, yeah. Jake was still right. So no one had ever thought in their right mind that these people would be somebody on the streets. Because they thought slavery was going to be forever. They thought we was going to be shackles and chains forever. They didn't see, but they forgot the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They forgot the Lord was going to come back to redeem his people and put them back into remembrance. And here we are. Them devil cocksuckers ain't back into remembrance. They were, what are they? Oh, Hitler, that's all they. You know, you go, you say something to a couple of like, they get all choked up. Make it 6,000, man. Make it 6,000. I mean, right. Six million, right? Six thousand? Yeah, yeah, roughly. But every time we out here and we speak it, and somebody comes up and, and, and they get all touched and they get all emotional. But you know, nobody cares about the North American Indian. Nobody cares about the so-called Negro. That I mean, shit. I mean, again, uh, yeah, they get all busted up, man. King Leopold III. Yeah, yeah. That massive slaughter on the Congo. Yeah, yeah. That was way worse than what uh, sixteen million. Yeah, yeah. right. So they don't, yeah, yeah. They don't speak the most. Leopold about that. Leopold kill, kill between fifteen and Belgium. twenty million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wee. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a hit. Yeah, I know. That's a oh, hit, yeah. boy. That's a hit. You know. And nobody talk about it. Only I had a book. I had a book. And I, I, I didn't give it to one of the apostles one time. I had a book though, and then this book I found in one. I used to go to like, like little uh, thrift stores, 
Because sometimes people, you know, donate shit. I found this book in there, and it was all about the Holocaust. And it said in the Holocaust, they had they had to segregate, you know, the Jews because it was some type of disease. But they had doctors, recreational centers, where they were, you know, keeping busy. Yeah, but the propaganda machine gives it to you as, you know, they were initiated it. It was in that condition because there was a disease that was running rampant there. And Hitler knew that as well, man. You know, that's why he said, he said, he quoted, if anyone takes such as a shoe latch from these in these people, you know, and Hitler said, I'm going to put you to death. Yeah. You know, because that shit was spreading like wildfire what out there. What was it, like typhoid? Yeah, something like that. Typhoid fever or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. And in fact, you know, I don't know the guy's name, but way back then, like, you know, back in, uh, I think, like, four, six, eight years ago, there was a, there was a, a, a bottle of blood video about this, this, this um, so-called Jewish man who was revealing that the, that the Holocaust was not really what they make it seem to be. To be. You know, he's saying that those those guys down there, they was living good with, with, with Hitler. He himself was saying it, and they demonized him in that TV show. I don't know if, I don't know what type of TV show it was, but it was a show in the 80s. We were speaking about it, yeah. saying that you know the reason why they kept they kept them in one little spot because a lot of them got got that scurvy disease, mm -hmm. you know, and to prevent that from spreading to what European, it looked at why he did. Exactly. If y'all let them go, the whole time European region will, will get will get caught up in that, in, in that disease. Right, but yeah. again, but yeah. you know, history history as we know it has been so curved that. Nobody even knows what the true history is, man. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in school, they played that movie, I think it's called The Pianist. Mm -hmm. And I think it took, they tried to play it as it took uh, part in that time. Right, so, right. You know, that sure. played on the mind. Yeah, but, yeah man. That's messed up. But, yep. And come to realize, it ain't, it ain't what it is. All right, go ahead. Con, I have an article from CNN that says, European colonizers killed so many Native Americans that it changed the global climate. Yes. European settlers yeah. killed 56 million indigenous people over about 100 years in South, Central, and North America, causing swarms of farmland to be abandoned and reforested. Reforested researchers at the University College of London estimate. 50 million, 50 million, and the average, and that's just, that's probably low numbers, because you know sometimes you sort of want to put yeah. the true numbers out yeah. there. And they made the buffalo go extinct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, you you have that photo of all the buffalo skulls because to them it was oh, right. every dead buffalo was a um, dead uh, so-called Native American. Right. 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 You start them out, yeah. man. Yeah. Them. So they made them go. Right. Yeah. But again, the wickedness of Edom, you saw Edom, has, has, it goes unnoticed, right. and that's the problem. But let us come out on the highways and byways, and this video might get clipped, man. Yeah. Yeah. The channel might get clipped because of what we're talking about. You know. You know, and we want to bring out the dirty deeds of Esau, Edom, and all, and all of a sudden there's a there's a problem all of a sudden. Yeah. I got some real quick. That's that's the, the buffalo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put that on. Put that on the. I'm sure y'all brothers are familiar with that, but you know that's the, the buffalo skulls when he used to slaughter the buffaloes. You know, Esau knew exactly what he was doing, man. Starve them out. You know, when they do the Messiah, they do that. They did that in the Messiah. No food coming in, no food going out. Starve them out. You know? Uh, ruckus, in, ruckus in siege. You know, that's some people out. Yep. Go ahead. Australia, Australia 25 huh? or 7. Australia too. 35 million they kill. Yeah. Australia. Yeah. Listen, man. You know, it, 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 it just goes to show you how no no one, no other humanity matters but Esau Eden, man. They'll, de they'll destroy countless people. Look what they did. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. They done dropped bombs over there on innocent people. And the people, the people were the um, German, the I say German, ja the Japanese were ready to surrender. Yeah. surrender right? Just they, the and they knew they it. Were ready to surrender. And, 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 and they, they knew, saw, knew that they were going to surrender, but they wanted to drop that bomb anyway. Flex they must have. That's it. I'm talking about we want to send a message that Esau said. We want to send a message. And then they, then he tried, they tried to double back and say, oh, we got miscommunication, mis a miscommunication, and we didn't realize that the, the message had been sent and it was in the machine or whatever. It was some bullshit. I would have been add because you just had that movie Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. It goes to show how wicked they are. The way they were doing the data on um, Fat Boy and Little Man, which was atomic bomb mm -hmm. names in the desert, and these devils turned around and said, "Let's." Let's get data on real people. Mm -hmm. And that's why they let Pearl Harbor happen. happen. Yep. Yeah, man. Yep. It just goes to show you how wicked they are. Like. Right. But they, they but again, you saw you saw it doesn't go without counting the cost. He knows exactly what he's doing, man. You know, he, he's he's skilled. He's skilled. He's a he's a skilled devil. Alright, let's run it. Uh, Isaiah 25 verse 7. 
and he will destroy this mountain, the face of the covenant castle of all people in mm -hmm. the valley. Start, start the one. Isaiah 25 verse 7. And he will destroy this mountain, yep. the fist of the covering cast over all people, right. and the veil that is spread over all nations. This is right. The Lord's going to do that. You know, because you saw and all these other nations have went to different lands, taken on that identity. That's pretty much the veil that has covered all nations. You know, you got people running around talking about where these people were, these people were that, were this and that. But all this is going to be straightened out, man. It's going to be straightened out when the Lord comes back to destroy this place. Rightfully so. Go ahead. Uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And then without another host that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to right. take peace from the earth, right. and that they, may they should kill one another, and they was given unto him a great sword. Right. And who's that fit, man? Who, who, who fits that depiction? You know? Who's, who's that who's that MO? That's Esau, Esau, Edom. He fits that description. All right? He goes about taking life from the earth. You know, even even in the movies, say he's the harbinger of death. Yes. You know, he sort of meditates on blood. He meditates on death, man. That's what he does. He goes about his daily life figuring out how he can torture people, how he can make somebody suffer. All right? Everything that we eat is, is poison, man. And it ain't killing us right away, but it's a slow killing process, man. All this food, and this shit ain't even food, man. Now it's been being brought out that a lot of this food is nothing but humans, man. Y'all get a chance to check out that movie, Soylent Green. It's an old one, old movie. Soylent Green. Soylent Green was like a little, like a green little cookie that everybody was, you know, going crazy over. And at the end of the day, I think it was Charlton Heston, he found out that the Soylent Green was people. At the end of the movie, he's screaming, it's people! So the green is the people! You know? But it's no different today. Yeah. You don't think they're putting fetus, you know, McDonald's? all kinds of shit. Was that rabbi? Yeah. Was that rabbi? Yeah, yeah, man, a rabbi. They had him on audio saying, mm -hmm. like, he was laughing. What, what happens to all those missing people's bodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the body parts. He yeah. said it ends up in your sausage yeah. sandwich, which you ain't supposed to be eating. Yeah. By and, the way. And, and then it's right, right. <laughs> and then real quick, too, and then recently, uh, um, I don't know if heard it, you know, it, it was on the news. They find part of human body part in a, in a, in a, in a somewhere in, in, a, in a store, cut up and, 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 uh, and, and, and put, you know, um, in, a, in a wrap, in meat grinder. Yeah. In, 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 in ground beef. In ground beef. Yeah. They, they find human remains. Well, yeah, man, they found yeah. someone's dentures in the right. ground. Right. 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 And, 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 Are you and, surprised? And, 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 Are you and surprised, fact, <laughs> Are you, I mean, really? I mean, that's that like gruesome. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be shocked if there isn't no shit of no human bones up in shit, man. That's what I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on here, Esau? You fucking slipping, dog. Grass, you know? Right. And then, uh, and then there was this, there was, there was this lady, uh, uh, Jake, when she went to McDonald's one time and bought a, a, a burger. And oh, she, the, the and, 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 <laughs> you know, no, she felt like what looks, what looks like a human nipple. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and that burger, when she pushed it out, everybody thought that, you know, she was lying. She made, she mixed it up, but she said it was 100% true. She bought it for McDonald's, and then she opened up the burger, and then she realized that a human nipple was in that burger. You know, but but then again, this this, 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 this connect all the dots. You know, when, 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 when the, when the going was saying that, yeah, you know, we, we have... We do all the missing children, we grind them up, we put them in popular areas, in popular restaurants like McDonald's, Burger Kings, and Wendy's. You know, McDonald's the most famous brand. We put them all out over there. So they eat babies, you know. So he, he, he said that all that in the audio, and, and I was like, you know, that came out like 10, you know, 10 like years 2006, ago. Man. 2006, yeah. and then and then now it's surface that look, look what's happening. They now hear in the news they find human body part in, 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 in them stores, yeah, you know? So, so he's telling the truth. Go ahead. Just a uh, quick precept. Revelation 6 and verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. Power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And that was just the back that brother, uh, that article the brother back um, brought out going into um, how they wiped out the natives to the point where everything started to grow. It's also known as the over spike. The yeah. CO2 uh, yeah. content yeah. Was, was, was low at the lowest point. Yeah. The record breaking is, once again, all the trees and stuff was coming back. Yeah. But that's the same time. They say from 1942 to 1610 is that time period that they uh, they analyzed. Yeah. And you know, around that time, that's when Columbus came. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. They said it was traded species back and forth. But you, know, you can put that yeah, as, species as a slave. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Yeah, this this, this it um, um yeah, I got a piece of go ahead, bro. This second entrance uh six and uh eighteen. Yeah. And it said, Behold the days come that I will begin to draw nine and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And that's how we all, you know, that's how we know that, you know, our captivity is almost over, right? Because, you know, Putin gives those little speeches that he have, or his little meetings that he have, and he goes inside mm -hmm. churches and stuff. Mm -hmm. What's always behind him? You know, he got the real pictures of the saints behind them. Yep. yep. You know, and then he that. says key phrases from out of the scriptures yep. that um, uh, mean that the war is drawn nigh. You know, well, that's where these Russian icons come from. Yeah, that's Russian what I call them. Russian icons. Yep. They know who the Lord is. They know what the Lord's people look like. They all know it. But here in America, again, that propaganda machine pushed it, man. This is why the Lord's gonna come back to destroy this place. This is the most wicked place on the planet, man. This place, and it's supposed, America's supposed to be known as a God-fearing nation. Uh, right. A one nation under God, as they right. say. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. One nation under Satan. Don't <laughs> yeah. give me Jer Jeremiah 15 and 14. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremiah 50 and 14. Fed up with this place, man. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon, round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, mm -hmm. for she has sinned against the Lord. See that? She has sinned against the Lord. America's going to get shot at, man. It's going to be shot at from everybody that bends the bow. Now, we said uh, earlier how Russia... In um, 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 Turkey, Berkeley, Berkeley is gonna is gonna start giving missiles out to anybody that joins that union, man. Anybody that joins that union is gonna be back with uh, some some thermonuclear nuclear missiles, man. And that's why I said shoot at her, spare no arrows. So everybody that's gonna have that arrow is gonna shoot them arrows, man, because she has sinned against the Lord. And we went through a whole, we've been going through a whole litany of things that this place has done that's going, that's contrary to what the Lord, Lord wants, man. So you know what? It's about time. Give me uh, Revelation uh, 9 and 12. Revelation, 9 and 12. Revelation chapter 9, yep. verse, uh, verse 12. And it says, uh, one war is past. One war is past. What does war represent? War, destruction. One war is past. And Esau, love, Esau loves to talk about history. Oh yeah, World War One. you know, this is my grandfather's and you know, the, 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 the war, the men of the old, and, and, and even to this day, there was a few of them devils who were still alive. They had them on, and every Veterans Day, they come strong, and, you know. <laughs> with, you know the hat, with the hat. They got the hat on, and in the middle all kinds of, of numbers, all kinds of trinkets and shit, <laughs> dazzling off their chests and everything. And everybody's applauding, standing up. It was a part of prophecy. They, they were, have been a part of prophecy as well. We don't know. Yeah. One was Revelation 9 verse 12. One was past, yep. but hold, there'll come two more, more after. And again, the history of Esau, World War One and World War II is, is a very uh, um, a very big thing in this country. To, to the point where they're still making movies to this very day about World War One and World War II, man. Something that happened many years ago, they're still basing their, some of their history off of that, uh, off of these wars, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. You see? So they're, they're thirsty for war. They're thirsty for blood. They, they glorify war. They glorify victory here in Babylon, man. Not that anybody would glorify victory, but at the cost of how they get the victory, yeah, yeah, lie, cheat, yeah. steal. I mean, they'll, they'll lay, lay, lay in wait for your ass in the, in the cut, man. What do you got? Uh, Similar, similar. Uh, Revelations 14, uh, 11, 11 and 14. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, the second woe is past, yep. and behold, the third woe coming quickly. quickly. Right. The third woe is coming quickly. Now we here, man. Now we're all, we're, the Lord has blessed us to be a part of this thing, man. It's a blessing to be a part of it. We ain't just walking around aimlessly talking about, yeah, we are focused, man. The scriptures say we, got, we ought to be in, in, in meditation of the prophecies, man. And this is exactly what we're doing because we're now seeing it, mm -hmm. being blessed with that vision of un that uh, the ability of understanding what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know how many people? You know how many masses of the world? All these billions of people that are on this planet have no fucking clue. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. But the Lord has blessed us to have that understanding, man. Right. It says the third world cometh quickly. All right. So as far as we're concerned, the third world is here. Right. 
it is now popped off with Israel as it being what? The least of the flock. Because now everybody's starting to come out. Yes. Now everybody's starting to, you know, show their, you know, you know, shake off the dust and like, all right, what's going on? We heard a little commotion over there. What's going on? We gotta get get ourselves together. And that's what people do when the fucking commotion starts, man. You know, you know, we you know, we live in a neighborhood where a fight break out. You gotta go oh, shit. Kind of raise up, like, alright, these other nations are doing the same thing. But not understanding on their behalf that this is prophecy that's bringing them together. This is all the word of the Lord that is written in the scriptures, man. If you go and tell some of these people that are on the front lines, and hey, this is the scriptures, they ain't gonna believe you. They're not gonna believe you, man. Because the Bible is just a book that was written by man. Yo, I gotta bring this out. So like, yeah, go ahead, brother. Back to uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Go ahead, bring it Again, out now. He also quoted, we account the scriptures of the Most High to be the most sublime philosophy. Mm -hmm. I find more sure marks of authenticity yeah. in the Bible than any profane history whatsoever. You see that? Mm -hmm. So again, I'm okay. just looking at um, my knowledge of um, history. When um, in 181, um, that guy, um, what is his name? The guy from um, Septimus Severius. Oh, Septimus Severius. Yep, Septimus yeah. Severius yep, was yep. in England. He's yep. an Israelite. He oh, conquered yeah. that area. Yes, he, he did. Was, he was in England. He's the one that built up London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaac Newton is from England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he's an Israelite. I know, but, again, but what Esau does is he, 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 he covers the faces of everybody. You know, he puts himself to be the. Look at Yahweh Shai. He put himself to be the Lord. So it's no, it's no marvel that, you know, you see Sir Isaac Newton, a white boy, blonde hair, gray hair, you know, sitting in there, you know, so that, that look on his face. But that's what Esau does, because when you are given a kingdom, you're going to set that kingdom up to your liking. You move into a house, you're going to set that house up to your liking. So we ain't surprised that every, every character that we read about and we speak about, you King David. They got King David as an Edomite running around. Yep. You know, King, everybody. Every, the whole gamut, man. They took over. This is their kingdom. They, they took over. Pharaoh, who is an Egyptian, is a white man. He's a white man. Yeah, Moses said, fuck it. Everybody's Edomite. Everybody's Edomite. Moses. 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 Yeah, 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 as Esau for you, got, 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 like so Isaac, yeah. you know, but again, we are not, we are not surprised yeah. at the things that we have been seeing and the things that we've been reading and studying, all right, you have to, you have to sift your way through these things, you know, what's my man, what's my man, the, uh, First president, black president there. Um, um, James, Joe, James, was it, was it James? Henson, yes, Henson. 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 <coughs> so at the house, so at the house, my little stepson, you know, he's going through school or whatever, right? And we had got on, we had got on something with John Hanson. So I, this brother had made a, a, a plaque years ago. I still got it. I still got the plaque. Yeah, I still got, I got it, right? Not really a plaque, but it's a laminated, you know. So I showed the little guy, yo, this is that man, black first black president right here. So he went to school and, <laughs> and told the teacher, she's like, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> so I said, I'll prove it to you, right? So I guess he went, I wasn't there, but he told me. So he went online and pulled up James Hansen, the white guy sitting there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the kid comes over and says, yeah, I thought he was black. He's white. What are you talking about? It was James Hansen. I said, what you? I said, I said, why you say that? He goes, I'll show you. So he goes over the computer and show his shit. He typed in the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. White guy pulled up. I was, yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, <laughs> come on, man. You know, I, I, I really didn't expect to win that one. I, you know, I didn't know he was going to go to school and say so. You know, but he did. But that's fine. But again, he saw has this thing sold up, man. It's all sold up on every angle, every corner. He saw got exactly. King James, look at King James. You saw got him looking like a white boy again. I saw him. I saw King James when I went to London. I saw him in the um, in the museum. He's black. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But again, but leave but it to anytime you, saw, you go on the on, on the internet, everything that is white that we, um, that is black that refers to um, a black person, yep. they show you what. Yep. 
That's right. I mean, yeah, it's just, just, yeah. just like that. Like, yeah, yeah, just like the elder said, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're our, 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 like Christ, you know, like you know, you know, we call Jesus Christ. We should be a house shout, by the way. You know, that's his true name. But look, but look at Brazil, right? Everybody's like, who? 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 But, 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 but to show you, man, I think so. I, I fully, completely, you know, brainwashed the whole entire world, especially the people from this tribe. He built a huge, big ass statue, you know, a big ass statue, you know, of, 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 of the house shy, painted as a white man, standing right there at the top of the mountain. And, and, and the whole world now, huh? In Brazil, yeah. In Brazil. It's, it, 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 this this is crazy though, but that but that's Esau for you, man. We don't we ain't surprised. That's we ain't surprised. I mean, the Lord the Lord did not the Lord give give me uh give me what I just called for. Jeremiah, 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 Jeremiah. 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 Yep, give me Jeremiah forty nine. Mm-hmm. Brother, give me um yeah yeah um Job nine nine uh brother. Uh, Jeremiah forty nine verse eleven, right? Uh, verse the verse ten. Verse ten. Good. But I have been Esau bear. Jeremiah from never sin, but I have made Esau bear, I have uncovered the secret places, mm-hmm. and he shall not be able to hide himself. Mm-hmm. His seed is spoiled, mm-hmm. and his brethren, and his neighbor, and his nut. Mm-hmm. Leave thy father's children, mm-hmm. I will preserve them alive, yeah. and let thy widow trust in me. Mm-hmm. For thus says the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have a shown choking, mm-hmm. and are that he that shall altogether go punished. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt not go punish, but thou shalt surely drink of it. That's right, and, the, and this is the, and we're coming into that time where he's going to drink of that. Mm-hmm. Even though the Lord has raised him up to be the ruler of this world, and it doesn't seem like anybody can take him down, and nobody can take him down. That's why the Lord set him up last, so the Lord can destroy his ass. You know, this is a, this is this thing ain't just by coincidence, man. You saw him walking around with the, all this might by coincidence, man. The Lord put him in this position for a reason. And the Lord made him as strong as he is for a reason. He's not just going to be, you think Esau just going to come over and hand over the key? Here, Israel, here, Jake, here you go. No, Esau is going to take any and everybody out who can possibly take out, man. He's going he gonna to go out on his shield. All right? That, go ahead. Verse 13. For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, mm-hmm. a reproach, and a waste, and a curse, and all the city thereof shall be a perpetual waste. Right, this place is going to be a desolation and a waste, man. This is the modern day Basra. It's the modern day Sid. It's the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? This place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. And now it's, it's becoming much more clearer to those non believers out there. Because now we're dealing with a, big, a lot of different nations that have that nuclear capability, all right? And it's gonna have to come to nuclear capability. It's gonna have to come to nuclear war. Just look at that shit that was going, just look what's going on, man. It's gonna have to come to nuclear war. There's gonna be no other answer for it, all right? Especially when America starts getting, you know, getting hot and heavy over there. They're gonna have no choice but to send missiles over there. And who knows, we don't know who's gonna shoot first, but you best believe they're gonna be shot. The missiles are gonna be shot. You got damn right they're gonna be shot, man. All right, go ahead. Back up real quick. Isaiah 9 verse 5. Oh, For yeah. every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Yeah, yeah. The garments were in blood, but yeah. this shall be burning in fear of fire. So, right, you know, you look at you look at that movie 300. You look at that movie 300. That's how war used to be fought. That's how battles were fought. Garments rolled in blood, up close and personal. That's how it was, man. But this is going to be with fuel of fire, all right? Vernon Von Braun did a great thing when the Lord set him up, man, to create that rocket. And that rocket is going to be sent from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, bringing much destruction pursuant to the book of Joel. Much destruction with that warhead that's going to, that's going to burn America and many other various parts of this world. Go ahead. Uh, I got 2 Ezra 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Right, and the Lord's right hand is strong. That's whose hand is speaking of. The Lord's hand. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. All right, now when you get into the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, the Lord said he's going to smite that bow. Go ahead. 
his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. That's right. When they now, be now, when those arrows get shot, what is, what is the what is the main component of those those uh those nuclear missiles, man? Those GPS locations. You know when you get in your car and you, you put the coordinates in, and it's gonna take you right to your destination. Same with them thermonuclear missiles, man. It's gonna take the latitude, longitude, they got it all right down to a science. Right down to a square a inch, man, right there. You can, I mean, Esau can put a goddamn missile right in the middle of that goddamn circle, that star right there, man. From, a, from fucking 4,000 miles away, man. So believe you, believe us, if when we speak about these things, you know, we're telling you, this is going to go down. And again, we give all praise to Yahweh Shai Shai that we have the ability to tell you these things, man. Go ahead. Elder, in the back of you, um, a couple of years ago, you had the nations sending up their satellites that were getting closer here. Mm -hmm. That's going to help them mm -hmm. with that navigation. Yeah. You know, that whole that whole navigation thing was, was absolutely fabulous when it first came out. People were in awe. You had a little device in your car plugged into your lighter port. And, and you just point, point punch in the directions, and it takes you right there, man. That was fucking fascinating. Garmin, but by the time, but by the time we got the technology, you saw it was fucking light years ahead of us, man. You saw had it way before everybody, you know, could think twice about it, man. You know. Black woman who invented the badge. Yeah. Black woman. Listen, brother. Our people invented damn near everything on this fucking planet, man. Right. But it's just that you saw it took. You saw it just took took it over. No, if right. I may add, that also is gonna fulfill prophecy when it says Joel, none shall break her uh, ranks. That's right. You know, they, they, they missiles, the technology could swerve out right. of path or right. direction, but it right. still right. got that target. Right. Right. Who's gonna have a missile probably about five feet above the other one? Like sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just look at, just look at the. Uh, they call them. They call them. Um, 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 um surface to air missiles. You know, the jet be flying, they lost some fucking missiles, and it, you know, yep. it has a little tracking device. It's like a heat sensor missile, but it's like a tracking device. I mean, how, how, how the, just the, ter the technology to, to, to have that shit go down is, is crazy, man. Here you got a, a jet flying, and this missile is falling it by the heat, by the heat from the engine of the jet, man. And, and, and there's a movie out that's um, behind enemy lines. And they, they, they show a scene where they get in the jet and they shoot that, they call them Sam. They shoot that Sam rocket. And they're like, yo, these shot, pull up. That motherfucking missile going, man, they just chasing them all around. That shit's impressive, man. That's why they started putting them, them flares on them the flares, back. Them yep, flares, yep, yep, them flares. Yep, they, they dropped them flares, boom, 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 to, 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 to um, divert the, the yeah, missiles yeah, to the heat source. In, in, in anti air counter attack, mm -hmm. you know, and in, in, uh, in fact, oh, you, you done better? Okay. You know, now, now this, um, this is an article uh, from um, Waters.com, and he says U.S. must be ready for stimulus. Can't say the word. Simultaneous. <laughs> Simultaneous war yeah. with China and Russia. Reports say. In other words, there's going to be all types of wars going on at the same time. Simultaneous. Right. There's going to be all types of wars going on at the same time. Yep. They still sending yep. troops even over the Ukraine. They still helping out the Ukrainians. Yep. Plus, they, plus they got the Taliban. Listen, when before the fall of Rome, they did what? They spread their military all over the damn place. America's doing the very same thing. It's going to be, and again, who's going to be able to protect this place? The you U.S. have over, over like a thousand new military bases all across the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and they the, all, but, and all the question, but the question is, who's going to protect this place, man? Oh, even, yeah. even uh, what's his name, <laughs> Kim Jong Un, is even going. I guess now that this issue, this issue going on with Islam Hamas, mm -hmm. that Kim Jong Un is now thinking about attacking South Korea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah. Donald Trump, yeah. 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 it was this analyst on uh, Redacted News, and you know he was saying that yeah. back in the day, he was saying that America could fight. Two and a half wars, mm -hmm. but he said, "What's going on now?" He said, if you, if "He said we don't have ground support at all." No, no. He said, "So he said I don't know what they're going to yeah. do, but he said the numbers are caught off. Yeah, and he was like, "Is nobody filling that number?" And then it was one report. He also said, "All the ammo that we gave to the Ukrainians, they spent it up within a, a month's time." He said, 
all that ammo for us that we gather that ammo that we gave them would take us probably 10 years or more to get back mm-hmm. that storehouse of ammo. Mm-hmm. So he said, it's awesome. He yeah. said, I don't know what I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 And, and he's, he's, a, he's a realist. Yes. He's being a realist. He's seeing the, the future of America is grim, mm-hmm. right? Nobody else, there's not too many people that are, that are that are brave enough to say that. You know, especially because these... I say the same thing, um, He used to be um, a weapons inspector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying the same thing. Yeah. Say if America go to war against Iran, that they're going to lose. It's true. It's true. (laughs) And the only thing America's going to have to to, to lean on is this so-called defense system. Missile defense system, but that's even going to fail, man. You know, I mean, ain't nobody over here. You know, they send all their troops all over the goddamn world. All right, and scriptures say they need to keep it at home. There's nobody here. They don't stay here. So when when the shit goes down, they're not worried about troops coming here. There's not going to be troops coming here. The nu- the nuclear missiles are coming here. All right, you may have troops here that's going to do some rounding up, but as far as actually physically attacking this place. Them thermonuclear missiles are going to destroy this place, man. Yeah, like you said, the only thing America got is the pride. Yeah. So that's the only thing that's, that's going to motivate them people to right. fight. That's it. Lose in battle. That's it. That's it. Even that's going to, even that pride's going to fail after that first <laughs> ass whooping. Yeah. That first, you know, you know, like you watch Miss Martial Arts fighters, they all come all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. They get smashed around like, oh shit. We can sit about this, you know. Yeah. You know, we think about this now. We got some stress on it. He do it. Yeah. Man, and he says, "Well, here, right." Yeah. right? He said the United States must be prepared for possible simultaneously war with Russia and China by expanding its conventional forces. Listen, Strengthen- that's why it says all the men of the Confederacy, it's not just going to be simultaneous, simultaneous wars with Russia you know, and China, but there's going to be all the nations, man. They're going to be fighting everybody. And then, and then the keepers of the house, they're gonna, they're gonna hide their asses. They're gonna try to go up to the stars and go into the dirt. Yep. But that's it, man. That's when they're gonna start running. You even have it over in Africa. You got the Africans going against the French. Mm-hmm. They telling them people to get up get out, out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's an ally to America. So right. just like how South Korea and North Korea going at it, Iran and Israel, it's just showing you that all those players, like you said, it's set in place. Yeah, man. man. Everything, everything's in. Everything's in. Now the, the game, let the games begin, right? <laughs> Let the games begin. You know, everybody strategizes. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a there was a there was a, a, a game called Battleship. Mm-hmm. You, know, you get to strategize. You put your ship here. You're like, all right, let me put my ship over here because I don't think he'll ever go to that corner. You know, and that's how these that's how these countries set themselves up in the raid, man. The scriptures tell you that. Put yourselves in the raid against Babylon round about. And he says, strengthening their their, their alliance. Of course, America allow allow allegiance. Loud control allegiance of America are going to turn their back on them. Yeah, yeah. You know? To Obadiah, you and, and he says, strength, strength, strength the alignment, uh, strength alliances, alliances yep. and enhancing its nuclear weapon, modernizing, modernizing uh, um, um, program. Right. So, so, so basically, in this article, man, you know, the, the, the strategists, we said that, you know, we got to get, you got to get, we got to get yourself ready because it's, it's not going to put in time, man. It's, 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 it's going to escalate, man. Mm-hmm. And you know, Russia, a lot of allegiance are going to join Russia. And they're going to form that one big coalition army to go against the United States. Mm-hmm. America's going to be by itself. But people still think that, oh, America's thinking how they alliance. You got people that say the coming board saying that, oh, America, don't worry about it. America got people that they got help. They got Britain on their side. Yeah. You know, they got Germany on their side. They got the NATOs. But people don't understand that of those very some countries that are on your side, they're going to start joining the winning side. Right. You, you, you know, you, 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 you ever heard the term said, if you can beat them, join them? That, that's what's going to happen. Mike, if you're a drummer, how would you stand with America when America cut off the thing that make you um, economically powerful? Uh, if you're a drummer, say that about the how are you going to stand with America exactly. when they cut off the thing that make you economically powerful? Yeah, that's why the scripture says. They're all going to turn against it. I got that. That's a script, man. Uh, it's Revelation uh, 17, uh, verse, uh, verse 16. It says, uh, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hit the whore, and shall make her dust, and shall make her desert, and naked, and shall hit, uh, eat her flesh, and burn her fire. For the most high put in the heart to fulfill his will, and to agree, and to give the kingdom unto the beast. Go to the word of the most high to be fulfilled. Right, and the key thing there, 
and shall burn her with fire. This is how America's going to go down, with fire, man. And she'll burn her with fire. That's right. That should be the slogan. That's burn right. her with fire. I like that. You know? And, and, these, and these other nations that are going to get that missile, they're going to launch that bitch over here to burn her with fire. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 19, And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, how did the Lord overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah? He burnt them with fire. Yep. All right? So this place, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, is going to be burnt with fire. This is simple, man. This is simple mathematics, if you will. Here you go. Go ahead. Come on, verse um, 20. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. You see that? This place will never be inhabited. You know, we always tell people when America gets destroyed, that's it. You know, and they, their minds, they, they, they can't compute the, the, the thought process of this place never being inhabited again. Because they're thinking, what's going to happen to my kids, my kids' kids? That's how they're thinking. They're thinking longevity to be here forever and ever. America's going to be destroyed. You ain't going to be around here no more. Your kids ain't going to be here. Their kids and their grandkids, nobody's going to be over here, man. It's going to be a uh, dwelling place for doleful creatures, man. Go ahead. Uh, neither the shall Russian bombs will destroy America. Right. Um, they're, three, they're, um, they're three of the biggest bombs that Russia have. Mm -hmm. They say will make America a desert. Yeah, and they're the going to. It's a desert. They're going to. All the missiles are going to hit this place. Okay. It's going to be absolutely yeah. all this shit here, the cement, these buildings, these trees, everything. Of you know, a lot, you got damn right. A lot of confusion. It says the, the elements shall melt the fervent heat. heat. Okay. So there's going to be nothing over here, man. And Lord willing, we're going to be up on high looking down. This right. going to be a fearful sight to look upon, man. That's right. You know, we, we say this because if it says in the remnant were affrighted. Mm. Why are we going to be affrighted? We're going to be looking down, seeing the destruction of America and how great it's going to be, man. We're going to see the earth real to and fro. That's going to be a that's going to be a sight to behold, man. I, I got, I got you know? a prophet in this part of you know, you know, when, 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 Noah, when Noah went on the ark before the Lord destroyed the earth with water, don't you think he thought about all those people that he knew? Yeah, yeah. All those people that was, you know, he was cool with? You know? Yeah. I'm looking like, where are you at? And the very same thing is going to happen when the Lord destroys this place. You know? I mean, again, we don't truly know. We know it's going to be destroyed. We know it's going to be burnt. But the mindset that we're going to be in, we may be looking down like, oh shit, I wonder if so and so made it out of here. You know, I wonder if he, I wonder if he, you know, who knows, man? But that's how it's going to be, man. That's how it's going to go down. The scripture says, and the remnant were frightened because we're going to see how massive the destruction is going to be that's going to burn this place, man. And, the thing, and, and, and the, again, thinking about. When the scripture says in Isaiah, the earth is going to reel to and fro like a drunken, it's going to be people on the earth feeling that shit, man. They're going to be feeling that shit. Just think, when they dropped them bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right, the damn pilot says his teeth, the feelings in his teeth were hurting because the blast was so powerful. All right? That was just some atomic shit. Now we're going nuclear. And not only are we going nuclear, it's going to be millions of missiles, man. Good. Plus, you had that fire in uh, California that blackened the sky in mm -hmm. Australia. That's right. Shit, the, the fuck a fire. Yeah. That shit, that blackness, them twin towers, and they went down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit, they seen. They said they seen the smoke from the satellites, you know, for for miles and miles up, man. And the scriptures tell you that in the book of uh, uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter. Yeah. Well, you they, know? Oh yeah. They even mentioned uh, they compared the heat from a th thermonuclear missile. They compared to the sun. Mm. So that's like literally dropping the sun on America. That's why that's why I said the elements are gonna melt with fervent, fervent heat. Yeah. I got a quick article for you, Elder. Now this right. is from uh, independent.co and he says developer released nuclear war simulator game on this on, on stream to let people experience the hour of warfare. And he says a new game, nuclear war simulator, is intended to allow people to experience the full horror of modern warfare. I'm not into games, but that won't be that might be one I might go get. From the stand and look around. And then it happens, you see the flash, and then now everything's on fire. So, wow. yeah, it's on Instagram. Wow. And listen, we yes. are, that brother used to be in the camp, Ariel Gabar. He, um, 
he had he was a he was a gamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he had he showed me this game where it was it was done here in Boston in the State House. Oh, yeah, yeah. The nuclear destruction Fallout. that hit. Oh, Fallout, Fallout 4. 4. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Fallout, yeah. There was a walking all up in the, inside the, the state house and shit. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. But again, it just goes to show you, all these people know what the outcome is going to be of this yeah. place, man. Yeah. It's just it's just inevitable. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. The yeah. theme if is all the same. Yeah. If I'm here, they have like, uh, yeah. when, you, when you look at the missile, it's like, uh, mm -hmm. Boston is one of the yeah. Yeah, it's a, That's what I was saying. Like when you look at the missile destination, the major cities are Boston, California, Washington, New York. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, major, major cities. cities. Yeah. Yeah. Those major cities. Now and again, yeah. with that being said, certain, certain cities where they're doing um, a lot of experiments. Yeah, yeah they're, they're gonna get yeah. America's yeah. gonna be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. 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 This shit's gonna be destroyed. I don't give a goddamn what city you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. 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 We're talking like yeah, yeah. 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 Be all right, they're gonna be good. This bitch is going down, baby. Ain't no, shit, ain't no. The next thing you know, you gonna have one who's trying to escape one to, to North Dakota. We go to North Dakota. We know on the map we looked at, and they didn't get touched. Deep in the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this motherfucker, this bitch is going down. <laughs> Man, there's nowhere to, nowhere to run to, to, baby. <laughs> Go ahead. And, he, and he says, the game let people create their own nuclear weapon, direct them at places on the map, and then see what damage it would cause. Yeah. yeah. And he said, they gave, they, listen, man, it, 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 is, it, it is what it is, man. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, a lot of people is going to take this shit as entertainment. Yeah. Well, we know this is this is life right here, man. This is the matter of life and death right here. You know, Esau is going to put it out there to keep you entertained. And that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to be entertained. Have fun. Go buy the game and, you know, have a good time. And, it, and, look, and look what he says. He says, player can even include their own friends and family in the game to examine whether they might survive the outbreak of nuclear war. Which they're yeah, not gonna again, survive. Again, that's gonna that's gonna become a reality. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna survive over here, but there's gonna be different uh, different various parts of the world that are gonna get hit that ain't gonna be annihilated. And again, you're gonna have to figure it out, man. You're gonna have to figure out how to get food and how to you know how to wheel and deal. So we still we still got some shit to go down. There's a, a, a quote too uh, I can't remember who said it, but he said, fourth world war, I think it's Albert Einstein. He said, World War III is going to be uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Yeah, it's fire, but the fourth war is going to be fought with sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. Yeah. that is going to knock you back into the Stone Age. No. Yeah. All the way back in the beginning. Albert Einstein. Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. over. I've got a Zachariah. The scriptures are telling you that uh, they're, they're gonna they're turn the weapons are going to be burned up. Burned up. Yep. Yep. What's that? Ezekiel 39? Yep. 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 Yeah. I got a, a Zechariah 14 to 12, and I always think of uh, Judgment Day, the movie Terminator 2. Oh, Sarah, yeah. Sarah oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we haven't brought this up in a long time. Yeah, yeah man, and, that's, and again, the movie Terminator, what they showed you in their movie, Judgment Day. <laughs> you want to look at it as just entertainment, but they're telling you shit, man. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're secretly telling you shit in their movies what they're going to do. This is it. This is real deal, man. Don't look at shit just as some more entertainment. You gotta look at it, you gotta examine this shit. When you saw it does certain things, you gotta examine this shit, man. Go ahead. Yep, uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that fought against Jerusalem. Right, now what he's about to read, where do you think they got this from, man? In the movie theater. Where do you think they got that from in the movie? They didn't just all of a sudden decide they're going, oh, let's put a fence in there. We'll hit the nuclear missile, the, the heat is going to come and blast her, the, you know, blast her skin off her body. No, they got that from the scriptures, man. Oh, yeah. James Cameron, I think, is the one. Uh, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, mm -hmm. and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Right, there's, real quick, there's, there's no better example to watch than to watch that Terminator if, to, to get a true understanding of what that looks like, man. That is the perfect example of what you're reading right here. To see how you, uh, a person can be standing on their feet when that nuclear blast comes and just blows, blows the skin and blood right off you to your bare skeleton, man. Go ahead. 
James oh, you Cameron. Go, yeah, you go get, you can get, bring it up. No, no, it was just James Cameron. Yeah, was, he was okay. the director, and it was in '91. Yeah. So yep. they've yep. been telling for years. I go back to the nuclear missile and how I'm talking about I mean, the heat. They said anything that touches it or that fire touch, it goes to the same amount of Fahrenheit to degrees of yeah. that fire. Yeah. So right. It's yeah. like you see those Poof. cars, you know, they yeah. disintegrate on yep. spot. That's exactly yep. what happened. And it says, uh, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Their you eyes shall consume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll read it again. Yeah, yeah, brother. You trying to cut, you trying to <laughs> shortcut the prophecy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zachariah 14 and 12 says, Behold, I will send my angel and And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And the Lord's going to do it. For all those who told the Lord wouldn't do something like that. Why would he do it? Because he's the Lord and he's the creator and he'll do whatever he wants with his creation. That's right. Right? That's the bottom line. Tired of hearing people, oh, he wouldn't do something. Oh, you goddamn right he would. He did it to you. He proves his own son, man. What makes you think he's going to fuck everybody else up? Go ahead. Read that from the top. Yep. Uh, and, my language. and this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Right. Now, mind you. I know I keep interrupting, but it says this is going to happen to all those who have fought against us, man. Yep. That's what's going to happen to all you nations, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be an Israelite. Because judgment did for a reason. That's right. That's right. Your time has come. Go ahead. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, mm -hmm. and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right. And that's what that nuclear wind, that nuclear blast is going to do to people, man. You know, you get a chance. You get y'all get a chance. Watch that. That you can go on YouTube and just put nuclear scene Terminator. Check that out, man. You know, we start. We gotta start bringing that back up because that's more closer than we know right now. We yeah, we used to have, yeah, we got the sign, but it ain't here today. Another movie to show uh, as well is uh, the knowing. The knowing, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but the see, but the knowing, yeah. yeah, but the knowing is again. At least Terminator, at least Terminator kept it real with the nuclear missile. The knowing said it was a solar blast from the sun. Now you got people talking about a solar blast. Yeah, you got people really the scientists talking about oh. And, yeah, 2029, 20, uh, the solar blast, the sun, but you gotta be careful. They ain't no, got no goddamn solar blast. The thermonuclear missiles are coming, man. But again, but uh, but how easy it is to manipulate the minds of the people. But as a matter of fact, I was listening to something, and he was saying how easy you can, you can persuade somebody to believe you just by the words that you speak, you know? And because we're out here, we're not scholars, so to say, with suits and ties and, you know, our diplomas hanging up on the plaque on the pillars here, people are gonna believe our report. They can come up here and we can tell them America's gonna be destroyed, the Lord's gonna, you know, put everybody into captivity. We can tell them all these things, but they're not gonna believe it because in their eyes, we have no credibility. No PhD. You know? so. Yeah, we have no credibility. <laughs> and but again, when the Lord said, I'm gonna set you up as a prophet, to go into the nations to prophesy, this is exactly what we've done. So those who all have, or those who have a little understanding about the Bible and about the scriptures, they understand what we're doing is the fulfillment of prophecy, man. You don't give a goddamn about you peons, you're all gonna die anyway. That's right. You know, it's those individuals, like we talk about that lady who has a little bit of the know or has a little bit of the inside scoop. They're the ones who are really fearful of what we do. These people you see walking, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't just fear. Right, they ain't fearful, you know? But if they knew who we were, they would know we were the prophets of the Lord because in the ancient times when a prophet came to town, motherfuckers was trembling. I got you. You think people are trembling? We we up there in the, on, the, on the center there. How many people are trembling when they come by us? They, they sit there and they'll stop and they'll listen, look at their watches, and turn around, oh, I gotta go, you know? But go ahead, bro. It's Hosea 4 and 1. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai right. in the land. Right. And, and why does he have that controversy? Because of the things the brother just read. There's no truth, no knowledge, no nothing in this land, man. So the Lord is coming back. He's coming back to show his presence. He's coming back to show his power. That's right. And his power is going to be to destroy this place, man. So don't get caught out there. Don't get caught out there and die the death of an Edomite when this death wasn't meant for you, man. You know, return back to the Lord. Come back to the Lord and, and recognize and ask for forgiveness and ask for mercy for all the shit that you've done. You know, go ahead. Uh, Revelation 11 verse 13. In the same hour, there was 
was the great earthquake, yep. and the tip part of the city fell, yep. and the earthquake was slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were fighting and give glory to the most high of heaven. Right now, if you if you read what he just, if you listen to what he said, it says, you know, the tenth part of the city fell. How is that happening? By means of the thermonuclear missiles. And it says, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the Most High. Why? Because we're going to be praising Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for, for having mercy upon us, first and foremost, in delivering of us, Lord will, were in that number. And secondly, for the destruction of Babylon the Great, as he said he was going to let his servants see with their eyes the fall of their enemy. But the things that we're going to see and behold is going to be things we've never ever seen before. The, the destruction of transgression is going to be so heavy upon the earth, it's going to be it's going to be all beyond all we've ever thought of, man. You know, you you can watch just a little bit like this sometimes. We see those wildfires out in California, even that shit that happened over in Hawaii. They showed they showed people driving down the street. Now it's just some some bullshit some bullshit fire if you want to compare it to the thermonuclear destruction. So you goddamn right we're going to be a frightened. And, and even watching that, you, I'm watching the TV, watching the news, I'm like, oh shit. And I'm saying to myself, what would I do? You know, well, shit, I just bust right through it in the ride and just keep moving? You know, is the shit going to burn up? Can you imagine how hot it's going to be down here? They're going to feel that heat over in other countries, man. It's yeah. going to be so goddamn hot, man. It's going to change the climate. Because yeah. that's what them nuclear missiles are going to do. Them nuclear missiles, them mushroom clouds, boom, it can be raining. Boom, fucking clear that sky right up because remember, the sun's above the clouds. You move those clouds, if, this, if those clouds were to be moved out of the way right now, it'd be a nice sunny day right here. You know, so the, those missiles are gonna change the way the temperature is, the way the weather is at that day. Mm. But this is 2 Peter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some may count slackness, but it's long suffering to us for mm -hmm. not willing that any should perish, but nope. that all should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yep. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. Looking yeah. Let me say this now. You know what makes you know what kind of fucking gets under my skin? For all those people who know about you know Israel and the destruction, and they just they just they don't even fight for it, man. Ah, well, I'm gonna die, yo. Well, I'm gonna die. At least fight for this shit, man. Fight for it. Yeah. You know. To make a a absolutely. Shit. Fight for it, man. Don't just be like ah, whatever. What is that? Don't just be like ah. You know, come out and fight for it. The Lord gave you a spirit, man. You know, the, the, the scriptures say. He has not given us the spirit of, of fear. Yeah. So fight for it, man. Don't just sit there and be like, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to die anyway. That that spirit that people got on, that shit, that, I can't. They, if you got that spirit on you, you need to be put to death, man. You know? You, know, we, you ought to fight to your very last breath, man. Go ahead. That's what he also mentioned in, in verse 9, when it says, not only that any should, should perish, perish but right. all should come to repentance. Right. He's giving you the opportunity, right. you know what I'm saying? It's presented to you. That's what, that's what I thought about. When you read that, it made me think of that. Fight for it, man. Come, you know, shit. Ask the Lord for mercy. Yeah. Ask the Lord to, to, you know, to redeem you from your enemies, man. You don't want to fucking die right here with your enemies. What, what good is that? There's no fun in that. You and you, 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 and you saw, you saw going to turn you. Yeah, I fucked the whole world up. What'd you do? I'm an Israelite. You, you saw going to laugh. Ah, that's what you get, nigga. <laughs> you die in sleep. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right. Go ahead. All right. Says so, uh, verse twelve. Looking for and hasting unto the coming day of the, the Most High, Yahweh mm -hmm. Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye, that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Point taken. Be diligent that ye may be found without spot and blameless. So fight for it, man. Fight for it. Don't just, you just, ah, get that spirit, ah, whatever, ah. You know, the Lord has given us the, the time to repent, to come back, to, you know, to come back to who you truly are, you know? But for the most part, you've been warned, you've been told. You've been told what, what, what's going on. 
And now if the Lord don't have mercy upon you, then that's your own doing. That's what I have, right? That's the spirit. First Timothy 6 verse 4. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, one two that are also called and has professed a good profession mm -hmm. before many witnesses. Mm -hmm. Fight that good fight of faith. Faith, you know? This is what we do. We come out every day, every week we come out fighting a good fight, man. You know? And, and to fight is to be, you know, to be ready, man. How are you gonna be ready if you ain't prepared? How are you gonna fight if you ain't know what you're fighting for? You know? We wanna get the hell out of here, man. We want we wanna be delivered from the destruction, from our enemies. We wanna be delivered from this madness, from this untoward world, man. There's nothing more filthiness down here. And to, and to know that you're gonna die with Esau, you, you, run the, you run the risk of dying with your enemy, who no. deserves to be put to death, that's awful, man. That's right. Right. Revelation 16 and 15, Behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Right. These he walk naked, and they, they see his shame. Right, blessed he that watcheth. And this is the key time that we watch him, man. So to, to second Ezra, to second, the ninth chapter, man. Yeah. This is the key time to be watching. We're living in some beautiful, beautiful times right now, man. All the things that are going on and watching the prophets. Sometimes you sit back, you be in the kitchen, I be in the kitchen, I'm like, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. You know, you can't help it. You know, you just, your spirit lifts up, you're like, yeah, I knew it. You rub your hands together, this shit's about to go down. You know? You know, if the Lord has given us, he's starting to give us these little tokens that we now can hold on to because this thing is speeding up. Before you know it's gonna be all kinds of tokens. Like, oh shit, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Lord. In yeah. those movies when they have that that individual playing that's crazy because he knows the, you know, they yeah. say it's, it's a uh, what is it? Conspiracy, conspiracy theory. theory. Right, right, right. You don't look so crazy at the end of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. Everybody runs to that same right. individual at the end right. to get information. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. They show you in the know. movie that the crazy man was always right. Right, right. 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 Yep. And, 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 he, and he rejoiced at that because you see that everything I said was, 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 was coming to pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did the Lord say? You know, uh, we just be glad for the kingdom is, is, is not at hand. That's right. So when you see these things uh, are happening, we should rejoice because right. prophecy is being fulfilled. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I got Romans 13 verse 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us now forecast off the work of darkness right. and let us put on the armor of light. Right. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in riding, in drunkenness, nor in chambering, in wantonness, no strive and envy, and envy, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shamashiach right. and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the loss thereof. Right. Keep yourself in good standing, man. Keep yourself in good sound mind. That's what it's talking about. Don't get all caught up with all bullshit. You know? Keeping the word of Yahweh Shai at the forefront of all your doings and your goings, man. That's what you need to do. And this is what's this. Give me Isaiah um, um, 33, is it 33 and 6? Is it knowledge? Yeah. yeah. Isaiah. Isaiah 33, verse 6. Yep. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, right. and strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. Keeping yourself in sound, good mind, man. Because the wisdom and knowledge is going to be what stabilizes you, what's going to be able, the thing that's going to be able to keep you grounded when all hell starts truly breaking loose, man. That's what it's talking about. What else is gonna what else is gonna do these things for you? Nothing else, man. You ain't gonna pick up fucking a people magazine and talk about, oh, I seen an article about, you know, them having a nuclear war. Let me go find that. That's not gonna do you no goddamn good. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. This is the only wisdom and knowledge that you're gonna be able to grab hold of that's going to assist you and help you maintain yourself in these troublesome times. The scripture says in the book of Hebrews. The word of the Lord is quick and powerful. What does that mean? Quick means alive. This book is a living book, man. And it's going to sustain you. It's go you there's going to be a point in time where we're not even going to really be looking for food or, or even thinking about food. But it's going to be these scriptures that's going to that's going to that's going to take heed, man. This is what this is what we're doing. This is what we're training. The Lord is training us. The Lord is building us up day by day. We're being built up more and more to be prepared for the things that are coming now i'm not saying we're going to be invincible but we're going to be prepared for the shit that does come man 
this is why it says wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. What time are we living in? An unstable time, man. And when you're living in unstable times, you need some type of stability to keep you going, man. Go ahead. Uh, John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. That's right. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's right. The words that are spoken unto us, they are spirit and they are life. Did not the Lord say, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So these are the things that we meditate on. The comforter. This is what's comforting to us. And it, and, it, and, it, and it never fails, man. You can be in a fucked up situation. Go back to that scriptures, go back to the scriptures and read. Your spirit is now being comforted. Your your worries and your worries that are that are heavy upon you are now being lifted off you. Because the Lord is taking them on, man. Go ahead, brother. I got uh this is the book of Matthew, chapter I'm excuse me, chapter Luke, chapter 10, verse 23. And he, turned to, and he turned him to the disciples and he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see the things that you see. Right. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them, mm -hmm. and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Mm -hmm. So how blessed are we? How, how blessed are we, man? That's why, you know, when I was thinking this whole week, I was thinking, you know, I got I to gotta continue to give thanks to God, bless me, I'll shine more, man even in the very little things, because we have been blessed with this word and the Lord giving us this word, so much so many great men before us did not receive or understand what they were reading or what they were or what they were being told. But we, have, we now in this time are, are, are understanding these things, man. That right there, you gotta, be, you gotta understand you've been counted as blessed, man, because the Lord revealed them unto you. The Lord just ain't gonna reveal anything to any old schmuck some old regular average Jake that's roaming the streets looking to get in all kinds of mischief this is why they're exactly where they are because the Lord didn't reveal it unto them because they weren't worthy to be revealed they weren't worthy for the Lord to, re to reveal it unto them you see so count it all joy that we have these scriptures man we have something we can fall back on and we can go back and rely on and know that it is assured that it is right and it's correct and it's an uplifting. Oh. Know that with a surety. Whenever you open up these scriptures and you start reading, man, and before you know it, two hours have gone by because you've already, you've, you've put yourself in the story. You put yourself in the situation and it makes it that much more, you know, enjoyable to read and to understand and you, re you can receive it that much better. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 3 in the NLC says, uh, for the person, for see danger and take precautions. Right, a foolish person for the, see a danger and take precaution. You know what? We foresee danger and we take precaution. How are we taking precaution? By meditating on the word, by trusting in the word, believing on your Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's how we're taking precaution. We ain't seeing what the hell is going on in the world and just fucking like, fuck it, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe they will, maybe they won't have a war, maybe they, you know, I don't know. We're taking precaution, man. And not only are we taking precaution, we now we now warn other brothers so they also can take precaution. This is how the Lord set this thing up, man. The Lord said, give them warning from me. How are we giving them warning? From the comforter. Why are we giving them warning? Because the Lord has set things in motion that he foretold us to be aware of, to watch out for. And now that we're watching them, we're warning. We're letting you know. Hey, yo, bro. This is what we got to tell you. This is what the Lord said. This is the, this is the word of the Lord speaking. And then if that man is worthy at that time, the Lord will open up his mind to receive the things that are being said unto him. All right, let's go. I got one more quote from Mr. Sir Isaac Newton. Go ahead, brother. And he said, I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the word of God, uh -huh. written by those who were inspired. I studied the Bible daily. Right. He said he spelled the Bible daily. That's what he said. That's right. The scriptures say, not by, uh, uh, was it? <laughs> not, by, not, uh, not by men, but men that will move by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Right? Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 3 in the NLC says, uh, for, first, uh, for the person foresee danger and take precaution, right. the simpleton goes blindly 
in on in software the consequences. Right. Yeah. And you know what you know what simple people do, man. Simple people like to find the easy way out, man. Simple people want to take the easy way out. You know, you can have a man who who may have, who may say something and may need to be corrected, but because he can't take correction, he just throw up his hands and leave. Simpleness, man. You got to be a man in this thing. The shit that we're undergoing right now ain't shit, man. We just men talking and conversing with one another. The fuck you gonna do when all shit goes breaks down and goes haywire? Can I count on you? Can I trust in you to be a man that's gonna be like, yo, I know my brother got me. He ain't gonna turn his back on me. I know if I call that brother, he's gonna beat it. When all hell breaks loose, man. But some men just they just ain't they ain't built to be here. They're not built to receive this thing. Though they received it and learned it, but they're not built for it. Because it shows in your spirit, it shows in your actions, if you're a man of the Lord or not, man. You don't walk away from men that, you, that you've been around for so, many, for, for so long because somebody says something to you. What kind of shit is that, man? If you can't take a little rebuke from a man, then you ain't, you ain't fit for this thing, man. How the hell are you gonna take some shit that, that's gonna come from a fucking stranger, from an enemy, man? How you gonna take something that's gonna come from an enemy if you can't take the heat from one of your brothers who's trying to correct you, man? So be ready, man. You brothers be on the ready. You know, this is who we trust in right here, the brotherhood. We trust in the brotherhood. And if you can't trust in your brotherhood, and you can't, you can't take a fucking a tongue lashing from one of your brothers, then you ain't no goddamn good, man. Get your ass, get your ass on out of here. We don't need you. The Lord don't need you. Because that same spirit is going to be on you when all hell breaks loose. Yeah, I know them as well. I was, I seen them over there, but I wasn't with them. I, they over there. They up on the hill over there. That's what's going to happen, man. That's what. That's the spirit you, a lot of you men are rolling in. You're going to be sitting there waiting, willing and, willing and ready and waiting to tell where we are. They over there. It's about 12. They down around the corner. All right? So if you're coming into this thing, man, know that it's going to be held on uh, uh, just, just pure hell, man. The times we coming into is going to be pure hell, man. You know, we, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself. You gotta examine yourself. If you, if you just bow out gracefully and walk away and never return, I'll have more respect, if you will, for lack of a better word. I have more respect for a man who does that than for a man to come and just be like, well, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm quit. Got no use for you, man. Got no use for you. You know who know you you know who you are. You got no use for you, man. Alright, where we at? I know I kinda went off on on a tangent right there, but spirit jumped on me real hard there. You know, we, I we trust in you brothers, man. We trust in the brotherhood. We may not we, we may not see each other ever again. That time may come. Brothers may be in different locations when all hell breaks loose. You know? But I know for a surety. Brothers gonna keep brothers in their prayers and that may Yahweh watch me out shy, guide and protect every one of us, no matter where we are and at what time it is, man. I got a preset for you real quick. Yeah. This is James 1 and 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endured temptation. Right. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Right. And when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Did not the Lord say we're practicing the righteous acts? You know? We're practicing the righteous acts. And here we are. You know, conversing with one another. If we can't, if you can't take a little rebuke from a brother, you fucking useless, man. As far as I'm concerned, I'm speaking for myself right now. You goddamn useless. I'd, I'd rather see a brother say, "Hey, yo, slap your brother. I didn't mean that. You know, let me, let me get myself, you know, get myself right. It will never happen again." Then I can say, "All right, brother. You know what? He's been admonished. He recognizes his offenses, and now he's going to change his ways." What did the Lord tell the lady that when he had the rope in the sand, all the men disappeared? Go and sin no more. So she got herself right. She got herself right. From that point forward, she's going to be on the right path. You know, likewise in this thing, if a brother tells you something, you're doing something, brother, don't do no shit like that. And, you know, don't be talking like that. Yeah, con, the water, brother, my fault. You get your shit right, you don't be talking that way ever again. Simple. It's fucking simple, man. It's simple. If I'm going to add to um, Elder. Um, and when, when Yahushua was nailing the cross, right, there were two men, one on the right, one on mm -hmm. the left. 
and and and, uh, and, and the ones and the one admitted that he he, he was he was a sinner. Mm -hmm. He admitted he's guilty and he was a sinner. And what the Alpha said to him yep. that from this day on you shall see me in paradise. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. Scripture also mentioned about acknowledging your offense. Your offense. Sometimes yeah. you may not see what you're doing wrong, but right. someone else can see right. that and tell you, and that way you can correct yourself. Correct yourself. yourself. Yeah. Right. Right. And this is what this brotherhood is all about, man. You know, correcting brothers, rebuking brothers, admonishing brothers, building brothers up, man. Making sure brothers is on the in the right mind, man. What kind of what kind of what kind of thing would the Lord set up if we didn't have these tools to, to work with, man? Right. These are the tools that the Lord gave us. And and how you how are you gonna rule in the kingdom? If you can't even fucking rule here, if you can't even take control of your, your shit here, man. Go ahead. Your house shall be good to see you. Get behind me sitting. Mm -hmm. And some men, your house shall sit that some men, they will know what? Right. Right. They're going right. to think that we're good. Right. You know, it's Peter saying, your house shall, you're not going to go in the course. Right. Your house shall call Peter sitting. Get behind me sitting. Right. You know? That shit, man, I'm dying. You know, you, sit, you think about shit after a while, it kind of kind of resonates with your spirit. Like, oh, what the fuck? On here. But anyway, good. You also have men that, you know, like you said, can't take rebuke, but then they go to jobs and they got to hear from their boss and right. other people that have no type right. of intimate relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. Like, here, here, here we're administering brotherly love. Yeah. Because if we didn't give a goddamn, we wouldn't say shit to you. Let you ride off into the fucking the abyss of sin and get destroyed, man. If we didn't care, but some men just don't get it, man. And that's how certain jobs play. They, they mess up. They're quick to fire you. Yeah. You, know that you said the brotherhood. Yeah. We're, we're here to instill. Like, Seventy you know, times seven. Yeah. 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 That's, that's right. It. That's, that's it. right. And for, for and for one to be like, yo, my I fucked up. My bad. I, you know what? I wasn't gonna do that shit no more. Start, you know. And ask, and ask the Lord for forgiveness. You know, get your mind right or whatever. And you keep it moving. And you keep that and you keep that link in the brotherhood and keep it tight and keep it you keep that bond tight. And it's also good too because that's just like uh like you see how we got railings, it's mm -hmm. just like that because now you know what not to do later on right. next time. Right. It keeps you within that right. you know in that, in that confine. Yeah. But not only that, but it, it'll teach you in the event that now you have you have just acquired a learning experience. Now when you see somebody else doing something you can say, hey, brother, yo, brother, trust me. I, I understand. I've been there. So, you know, and, and set that man straight and so on and so forth. And this is what we call iron sharpening iron on every level. You know? But if you're just going to throw your hands up, my, you're going to throw your hands up and bounce, then you was never a part of the body, man. <laughs> Go ahead. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear and it will increase in learning. A wise man will hear and incre increase in learning. But again, you know, you got people that, that, that are very versed in the scriptures. But if you don't know how to apply them, what good is it? Okay, let me let the brother finish so, up. It says, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. That's right. A man of understanding will attain, uh, uh, will attain to wise counsel. And again, the Lord put men in position for a certain reason. And if a man pulls you aside, if somebody pulls you aside and says, yo, brother, such and such and such and such, you ought to grab hold of that wise counsel and work that out. And be like, all right, you know what? Good. But... Go ahead, <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, elder. Go ahead, elder. I wasn't going to say it. I'll say it. Also, real quick, you know how brothers say they see the Lord in the next brother. Like, mm -hmm. if you can't accept that from your brother, how would you accept that from the Irish Right, right. You know? On this level. Yeah. On this level. But they say, oh, that, I believe that, that man to be a man of the Lord. So if that's right. the case, you're supposed right. to take what he's saying. That's right. right. You're supposed right. to take right. heed to what that man's saying. If any, if any, and even, there was a time where, <coughs> there was a time where we, we were out here, we kind of knew, when it, not knew, but we just, we, we just come out and there was somebody, you know, talking shit. And I was, you know, I was, I was, I was pretty, I was, I was ashamed. So, you know, cat got close, I threw the kick up, you know, you, you know, the elder got on me for that shit. And, Yo, bro, don't be doing that shit. You know, I didn't like, oh, oh, what? No, I, I, I took, the, the admonishment, and I and I and I understood it, and I was like, you know what? He's right. There's no need for me to go out there throwing kicks and roundhouses and shit. That's not what we're here for. But again, but 
a wise man is taking counsel from a, 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 a wise, another wise man. And it set me straight and never did it again. Simple. So, so now, if I see a brother doing something, I'm like, yo, brother, don't, you know, don't do this and that, don't, you know, boom, boom, boom. That brother's like, hey, hey, you know what, you're right. That's how it should be. And this is how we keep this body intact. But when you got a, when you got a rebel amongst the body, he got to be purged. He got to be purged out of here, you know? There's no, there's no goddamn room for rebels, man. We're all striving for that penny. We're all, we all want to get the fuck out of here. You're right? But in the meantime, the Lord put us here for a reason. That we have now have to trust in one another as brothers, as family. You see? And if I can't take some 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 words from you, then then what good am I, man? Go ahead, Elbow. This is uh if you can't take orders, it's impossible for you to be able to give orders. That's right. Right. And hence the reason why we're practicing the righteous yeah, acts. Some people some people want to jump right to the giving it all. Right. <laughs> He's like, from example, if I may add too. He's like ancient king, right? When when when, when, when <coughs> young men become king, they have wise men surrounding them. Mm -hmm. And before the king will make a decision, he will seek counsel with that man. Mm -hmm. And and and, 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 and the council on those and those council wives will correct him if he made a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know? Likewise the same with us. Right. You know, we counsel each other and then we get our back in your shot. Right. You know, and, then if, and if we find any any any, any one, we we'll correct that part, let him know. That's right. You know, and just wanna say that. That's right, that's right. Good, what you got? This is uh, Sirach 30 and 1. Mm -hmm. He that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod, mm -hmm. that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends shall rejoice of him. Right? So this is obviously speaking towards your, your own yeah, your own children, but right, right, we, right. We, we've taken right. each other on right. as a, like a like a father son relationship. Right. You know, I, I've learned a lot from this man and all these men. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. And that's and, and again, and this is what this is how we have been taught. We have been taught this way. We ain't just coming out here and just you know you know willy nilly in it. We've been taught this way from from good men, man. And this is what the body needs. The body needs good men. To trust in one another, man. But if you if you feel that this ain't for you, then you you, you bow out gracefully. Bow out gracefully. But don't bow out because somebody brings something to your attention, and all of a sudden you catch a catch feelings and you just fucking disappear. You know, there there have been a point in time where you know you start to build a certain level of trust in men that you in rapport in men that you've been around to the point where this thing is so serious, you say, damn, I can I can put my life in that man's hands. That's how serious this is gonna be. You're gonna have to put your life in brother's hands at some point in time. You see? But if a simple, a few simple words is going to make you feel like, oh my. Hey, what'd you say, what's the brother? Is it bloody apple? <laughs> <laughs> Feel that's how it's, that's how you are. Then, then, then that's it. Then you got to go, man. And, and, it, and this goes for anybody because this we speak and this is a lesson that's being taught right now. The brotherhood is paramount, man. Under the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. it's paramount. This is why we gotta trust in one another. And this is why the scripture says, "Lay hands on no man suddenly," because you just don't know who you're gonna get, man. Cats fake the funk. Cats do all kinds of wild shit out here. Especially, especially now that these prophecies are coming to pass. Now everybody wants to jump on the boat. Everybody wants to jump on. Like, yeah, that's right. Oh, you know. <laughs> you know. Everybody wants to be a part of it now. You know. But believe you me, as the scripture has said, when the cock crow, they're gonna deny Yahweh Shai, man. Everybody's gun ho now, and this is why you gotta pray that the Lord puts that spirit of courage on you and the spirit of, of, of discipline on you. So when these times do come up and these things happen, where you may be faced with going to the guillotine, you may be fa you may be in that line where they got everybody round up to go into the concentration camp. You know, you pray that the Lord will deliver you out of there, and Lord willing, He delivers you out of these situations, man. 
because these are the things that we're going to be, be, be performed. Isn't it not written? But he shall be saved out of it. So everything that's, everything that's starting to brew up, man, don't think you exempt. We ain't exempt, man. You know? Consistently praying without ceasing is, is, is paramount. It's paramount. You gotta pray without ceasing. Because these things that we're going to be praying for in these last days, you know, you gotta hope and, hope and pray the Lord hears your prayers and your supplications to the Lord. We ain't, we ain't gonna be sitting around, you know, just lollygagging. No, we're gonna be in the midst of some hot and heavy. It's gonna be a hot war, man. It's gonna be a hot war out here amongst the people. Not nations, amongst the people. Go ahead. Our Matthew 24, verse 21. It says, oh, for then shall be great tribulation, That's right. such as not since the beginning of the world. What, what do you read? In Matthew 24, verse 21. read it again. Matthew 24, verse 20, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. That's right. To this time, no, not ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, yep. there shall no flesh be saved. Yep. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. Right. right. And now, now it, just, it just speeds up now. It says, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So this thing is going to speed up much more for us than anybody else. Because now these prophecies are going to be bam, 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 bam. All right? But again, the times of the trouble that are going to be upon us is going to be shit that has never been seen upon the face of the earth, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai was subject to being pierced, being bashed, clad with thorns. You know, and everything that they did to Yahweh Shai. And so much so he was fucking, he was he was unrecognizable when they got through with him when he was on that cross, man. They they couldn't even recognize Yahweh Shai. And you think we gonna just skate through this shit on ice skates? Who knows, man? You may be fucking going through this thing with a fucking snap leg, man. You don't know. You may you very well may be catch you may you may catch the hell of the helliest, man. Stone, stone. Up, yeah, man. All kind of stuff. And, right. And, you know, so they had a bad thing too. Had the, uh, Paul. He had a thorn. He had a oh, thorn in the side. Oh. Oh. Right. He had a thorn in the side. We don't know what it was, oh. but the fact of the matter is, so I get your, I get your message. He was going through hell. Yeah. He had something wrong with him. You know. So we ain't an exempt, man. We gonna get. We gonna get. We gonna. We gonna have to fucking work this one out, man. Go ahead. No, the scripture said Yahweh was bruised like no other man. That's right. right. It also said the, the, the servant is no not greater than his master. master. So if Yahweh right. had better book, then we find much more. Right. Yeah. Right. So we, you know, we we talk, we talk in this time period because there's nothing going on, you know. And to some, it may seem like we talk boldly, where oh, bring it on, baby. You know what? You may have that perception of us, but at the same time, we gotta show ourselves as men. You know, the scriptures talk about men curled up like women grabbing their loins. You know, now, am I saying that's not going to happen to us? Lord willing, it doesn't. Again, this is the Lord's program. But at the same time, being a man of the Lord, showing yourself as a man, the Lord is going to impart that strength unto you that you can withstand the wiles of the devil, that you can withstand the shit that's going to be coming down at you. You know, and it's all through the power of your how about you shot. We ain't gonna be doing, I don't give a goddamn how much you bench pressing. How caught dizzy you are when you walk around with fucking two mailbox under your arms, all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> <And that's, laughs> this brother, yeah. What's wrong with y'all, brother? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but that's how you know how them two be walking, yeah, they fucking yeah, going yeah, to the gym, all this shit. Getting fucking mirror, all this shit. Yeah, all that shit, you, them other dudes are gonna be on the ground fucking weeping and gnashing their teeth, man. Yeah, 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 Go ahead. Shot, that's why it's always pushed uh, yeah. faith over fear, because even when it was in the boat, the apostles were yeah, shot. He was sleeping. It was like, Lord, yo. Was right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. He woke up and rebuked the wind. You right, know? So right. He always told him, uh, he, he, he have little, little faith. faith. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's the time we have to bring that spirit yeah. and that right. faith. Up. Right, right. I'm not saying I'm not saying we the mightiest of men, but at the same time, you gotta show yourself as a man. Yeah. You know, even even in your even in life today, man, you being the head of the house. You know. You just can't let motherfucker run up in your crib and you know, like, oh shit. You know, there's two big men up in there. You gotta, you better, you gotta fight your ass off, man. Yeah. Well, on your shield. That's it. There's yeah. another saying too that says you're only as strong as your faith is. Yeah. That's right. 
So you, have, you can believe you can get through a certain situation. Yeah. Yeah. So you grant that. That's right. Says, uh, he is the uh, reward of, of them that do seek him. That's what we desire. Desire to have the Lord on our side. Right. Yeah. And this is and this is what is this is the crux of what we're talking about, man. You know, just being a man, dealing, dealing when there's un you know uncomfortable situations. You know, you know there was, there was times where. You know, could you, I can imagine if the apostles had said something to us, we were just like, fuck. You know? It's serious business, man. It's serious business. You know? So, you know, don't think that a brother is always out to get you. You know? Brothers, a brother's operating under the, under the, the, the love of the brotherhood. And with that being said, you kind of, you know, you got to listen to what brothers are saying. You know, it can be a brother in the truth for, you know, two years. But if he if he got uh, uh, the spirit on him, if the spirit is on him to, to tell you something in a manner where, you, you know, maybe see you do something, you put your side, you know, you know, you can't be like, yo, yo, brother, you only got two years, don't tell me, you know. <laughs> but if but if he's sincere, he's coming, he's telling you something sincere, and you know that you did something maybe you shouldn't have done. You gotta, you gotta take that, man. You gotta go, you know what? You're right, brother. You're right. That's it. You know? Being about being in humility, man. Having humility. Alright? Did you have something you said? Uh, Daniel's 12 and 1. Yeah, yeah, read that. Because he had, he had brought out what he had brought out. Yeah, this is Daniel's 12 and 1. This is, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who yep. standeth for the children of thy people. Yep. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. What do you think what do you think is gonna happen, man? There's gonna be all types of trouble we're gonna have to endure. There's gonna be all types of shit going on. There's gonna be all types of trouble, man. There's gonna be a time of trouble. But ultimately, ultimately, that that the thermonuclear missile is gonna be the big trouble. But until then, you're gonna have the devil coming down, having great wrath, right? Seeking whom he may devour. The enemies are gonna be about looking to destroy you. You know, even your friends, whom you thought you were friends with, are gonna be pointing the finger at you, man. So we ain't safe in any shape, form, or fashion around here. And this is why, again, the brotherhood is so important. And again, we have to count on brothers to make sure that, you know what? I'm gonna make sure you're safe, you make sure I'm safe, Lord willing. But if you if you have got a weak spirit on you, and you ain't trying to overcome that weak spirit by prayer and fasting and, and, and looking to the brothers for, for, for help, you know? Then you then you are you don't belong here. You see? This is what this is all about, man. We ought to make sure we uplift one another. Go ahead. I was gonna say the scripture says uh, a man's foes shall be them of their own household. household. That's so right. If you can't even trust the same people that's in your, your house, house, who else are you gonna trust? Right. You know, throw your hands up in the air. That's all I can see is. All I can see, man, it's just, it, and it's bothering me. It's bothering my spirit. You know, we come out, we, when we come out here, you know, we come out here for first and foremost for the hope for the elect. That's who we come for, first and foremost, for the hope for the elect. Right? Lord willing, we're in that number. But at the same time, within that, with, with us coming out here, and we've all been here, we've all been sacrificing, doing what we have to do to make our call and election sure. And to just give up that fucking easy? Come on, man. Come on. You ain't give up on us. You giving up on the Lord. Motherfuckers travel halfway across the fucking world to come someplace to say We didn't we didn't give you a fucking ticket to come. You see? Could have did the same shit back where you was. Go ahead. Off. And at that time that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's right. That's right. Those who are written in the book. We're trying to make it so we are written in that book. Alright? Now the Lord already knows who's his off. Hands down. He knows. But we don't know. This is why we gotta keep striving. We gotta keep fighting. We gotta keep praying. We gotta keep fasting. Because we don't know. And I'm not gonna leave it up to chance, but yeah, you know, there's some of you we when the elder and I came out, we had cats come out. I know I'm a part of the elect. Me and my brother, we are we are the elect. He was like, all right, man, you know? But he wasn't right in the head anyway. Yeah, he, he wasn't right in the head. You know, may the Lord have mercy on him for, 
you know, whatever, man. But you know, but that's that's the Lord's call. That's the Lord's call. But there are some men that you can look at and you're like, yeah, the brother's be a little slow, he a little off, even though he's talking out of his. He may have he may have pure intentions, you know. But again, that's the Lord. That's the Lord's call. But our job as prophets of the Lord is to come out and prophesy the downfall of this bitch, and, and bring and bring that the Lord to bring that swift destruction on this place, man. Go ahead. Uh, Second Timothy two verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High stand sure, having His zeal. The Lord knoweth them that are His, and the Lord, let the Lord knoweth them that are His. You see, the Lord knoweth them that are His, and these are His who, who stand fast, who stand firm, whose feet are fastened. They're not going to be shushed and, and turned away on 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 pretty much for nothing, man. The Lord ain't looking for a weak guy, man. You're looking for a man who truly believes and has faith, man. You, I mean, again, if you if you come up and say, hey, brothers, I'm going to go do my own thing. You know, I'm going to Jersey or whatever. I'm going to do my own thing. All right, that's cool. We got no, I mean, the Lord be with you, brother. Salute you. Off you go. So be it. That's what, that's what the Lord is looking for. I can't see that. I can't see that shit. That's what the Lord is looking for. A man who's sound. One of you brothers might say, yo, brother, I'm moving up to Maine. I want to go up there and start the camp. You got our blessing, brother. Go out there and be safe. Be wise. You know, if you got any questions, call. We can't answer. We call the apostles and the elders. Let them know and, you know, and, and keep it moving. But to just, but just to give up, man. I, I can't, I can't swallow that, man. We come too goddamn far. Come too far to be just giving up all of a sudden. This is about to get good, man. Now it's now it's starting to heat up. Now it's starting to now it's starting to pick up, man. Now you got people talking about, oh, I remember you said something about that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yeah, so now you kind of like, yeah, man. In the back of your mind is like, hey, well, I told you you wanna <laughs> listen in. Now you wanna come running? Now you wanna come and running, huh? You know? Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, little bit of uh, second Timothy 2 verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High is the sure, having his zeal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, mm -hmm. and let everyone that name the name of Yahweh shall depart from iniquity. Let everyone that name the name of Yahweh shall depart from iniquity. And, and again, many of people know the name of Yahweh Shai. Many men call upon that name. But how true are you when you call upon that name? How sincere are you? Do you truly believe that name? You know? Because the Lord even said, and it is written, then shall they call upon me, but I'll say, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Go ahead. Yeah, I got it right here. This is Matthew um, 7 and 21. Yep. To back on a watch. It says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Yep. And in thy name have cast out devils? Yep. And in thy name done many wonderful works? Yep. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right. Again, you know, not not trying to go down this road too deep, too far, but at the end of the day, man, you put yourself in a position, all right? When you put your hand to the plow, it is the same situation. When you bring yourself to men's camp, and you profess yourself to be a brother and this, that, and third, and call them a day, and you, and you just decide that, ah, eh. I'm out of here for no good reason because somebody said something to you. Doesn't look good, my man. Does not look good. You know? And again, we only we only saying these things to warn you, to warn you. You know? Whatever, man. Go ahead. Correction. I got some of those for correction. Yeah. If he stayed there. Now we we ain't gonna get into the details. I'm not gonna get into the details about about what it was, but if you understood the details. You you would you would understand why I'm so hot about the way she, this particular situation went down, you know. And Lord, and the Lord brought it out this way because there's there's edification that's going to come with this. Lord willing, go ahead. Come on, uh, Ecclesiastes five verse four. When thou vows a vow to the, unto the Most High, he fear not to pay it, for he had no pleasure in fools. That's right. Pay that which thou vow, but better is it that thou shouldest not vow. That thou shouldest vow and not pay. That's right. So when you make a when you make a vow, man, that's it. You are held to it, man. You are held to it. Let me say, I'm gonna I'm I'm end it with this, right? If you go somewhere and you believe 
that these men are men of the Lord by your own admission, and then all of a sudden, one of the men of the Lord decides to, to, to warn you about something or, or, or to correct you on something, and your response is this, I'm out of here. You ain't right. You ain't fucking right. You, you pronounce with your own mouth. I believe y'all are men of the Lord. Me, me? If I'm around the men of the Lord, I'm staying around the men of the Lord. I ain't departing from the men of the Lord. If the Lord, as long as the Lord got air in my lungs and, and, and a mouth to speak, I'm sticking by these men. I'm not departing. Go ahead, brother. You got one? Right. Uh, the Rock also known as the Ecclesiastes 26 and 28. There be two things that grieve my heart. That's right. And the third make it be happy. That's right. And man of war that suffer from poverty, and man of understanding that are not set by, and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. The Lord Yahweh shall such as one for the That's it. You know? So you condemn your own self. You put your own self in harm's way. Because the Lord said what? Like your brother just read. He prepared you for the sword. Because your intentions aren't pure. Your mindset and your and your words weren't pure. Right? So let it be a lesson to all of us, including myself, man. You're gonna be a part of this thing. Be sincere, be honest, be humble. You know, and pray that the Lord continue to uplift you and give you the spirit of understanding as you go through this thing, man. We all struggle, man. We all fucking struggle. We're all going through it on a daily basis, man. And there's only things that can bring us up out of this is reading the scriptures and reaching out to the brothers, man. You know, the elder and I, we was talking earlier, man, and it felt good to talk to the elder because, you know, throughout the week you go through it. And the elder kept apologizing for, hey, brother, I want to hit you with this, I want to burden you with this, but nah, listen, brother, we need this. You know, because sometimes, man, you know, you just, you, you, your spirit is low. And then when you speak to other brothers, you know, y'all start chopping it up, and you get uplifted, and the brother didn't realize, but he brought my spirit up, and I felt I got rejuvenated, man. Like my battery got shot. You know when you plug your phone in that fucking charger, and that shit starts swelling around? Your, your phone's happy. <laughs> in that juice, your phone's happy, man. So when you speak to the brothers and he starts teaching you with scriptures and, and stories, you're like, yeah, hey, I feel all right. Because it's the, it's, the, it's the spirit that's moving, man. It's the spirit that's moving. All right, so with that, we're going to give all praises to yeah. Double odds ahead of Pastor Great Millstone that rule well, and all the elders as well. And show want to all you brothers on the highways and byways doing the work sincerely and faithfully and continually fighting that good fight of faith. I want to say shalom to you sisters that truly believe and trust in the name of Yahweh Bosh me all shy. May the Lord have mercy upon you as well. And you know, again, we're going to continue to push this plow until the Lord takes us home, man. So with that, we're just going to say shalom. Shalom. All right. All right.